The weather fucking sucks! It sucks! It's been dropping the ball for years, and that's why I finally decided to send it a letter. I sent it a letter. A very strongly worded one. Ooh, yikes. Someone's first chat message was, I hope he finishes Northern Journey. It was dope. Mm. Mm. Oh, I did finish it. <laughs> I did finish it, all right. It was dope. Mm. Long dark, more like the long dork. Dude, fuck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. We need that kind of comedy in these trying times, dude. Keep everyone on their toes. Long dark, more like long dick. Uh, mm, like long dick. <laughs> I still got it, baby. Woo! Fuck yeah! Kills me. Penis is funny. We're playing Long Dark today, but here's the thing about Long Dark. It's an unending and depressingly long survival game. And while I love the concept of it, the survival gameplay of playing the actual survival version is always extremely depressing because it's simply a countdown to an inevitable demise. There's no conclusion. It is simply your death. So instead we're doing the challenges, which I find far more interesting for uh, playing. Gonna do Hopeless Rescue, which involves me having to spawn on one side of the map, go to one side, collect a flare gun from the peak of that giant mountain you see in this very picture, and then take it all the way down to the beaches, which is a long fucking biblical journey. It's gonna be beautiful. You're gonna go the complete wrong way again, Tomato? No, because I know the map because I did the bear challenge successfully on stream, idiot. I literally know how to get at least halfway to my destination this time. Okay? Fun fact, chat, when I did this, when I did like a fucking sort of soft test of this challenge like two years ago, while I was just fucking around trying to remember how to play the game, I quite literally went the exact wrong way. As in, there's two exits to the zone you start in for this challenge, and I took the wrong exit, which took me in the complete opposite direction. Yes. <sighs> Which is kind of, uh, kind of embarrassing. A little, um, a little embarrassing. But I know better now, and I don't make mistakes, okay? Dude, there's like, here's the thing. There's parts of Long Dark's map that are quite literally just murder traps. Like... You go into one area and it's a tiny zone that simply leads into another really fucked up lootless zone that's a dead end that just looks like it might have stuff in it, but it doesn't. That's like half of Long Dark is knowing what places are absolute shitholes and what places are, ha exist for a reason. And the answer is almost all of it is a shithole. But I'm never gonna make that mistake ever again. I actually have a lot of time in this game, and I'm actually documented at, as being uh, decent at it. Okay, I, I feel like I proved myself with the bear mission. Okay. So, come on. Give me a goddamn break. Look, it's gonna be a piece of cake. All we, all we gotta do, chat, is start in Pleasant Valley, go to 
No, start in, fuck, I already messed it up. God damn it, we're gonna die. The, the odds of me completing this challenge in one try, like the bear challenge I had to practice, like the route for it, like a speed run. I am not practicing this one because it's a longer challenge. For context, I have like a week of in-game time to do the trick, meaning there's gonna be a lot of like, oh, I don't know if I have time to really take a nap right now and like psycho running places. Uh, but I might Kingsway it. I might, I might Kingsway this one. This could be a Kingsway situation, but it's going to be cursed. It's a, it's a hard challenge. It, the game says it's easier than the bear challenge, and I would, uh, disagree. I thought the bear challenge, once you know the route is actually fucking comically easy because the bear is so dumb and can only do one thing, which is run at you. So you kind of get to eventually game its AI. In this one, there's not there's less gaming because uh, you're just going places. It's more hoping that there are, there isn't a blizzard. There's, there's no bear this time. There's simply the elements and maybe a moose and maybe wolves. Maybe more wolves. But yeah, uh, I love this game. It, it, it's no secret that it's one of my higher rated survival games. I don't think. And they just updated it with a new area that we definitely... If we... Look, here's the thing. Disclaimer. If we somehow see the new area, I lost. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure. If I somehow I'm like, oh no, this looks like the new place. That means I took a wrong turn and I went the wrong way. But yeah, I'll definitely play the campaign through when it's done. Because they, they release it in like episodes... It's only on four or five. It's close to being finished. When it's finished, I'll play it on stream. But right now, I'm still buying time. Also, uh, I no longer need D&D &D advice. I've gotten a short list of classes, but um, very likely because I want to do something different in Joe's campaign, because I've gotten some better ideas for what I want to do with Joe, uh, we're probably going to do the Echo Knight concept with a whole with like a sort of reworked plasmoid because we're not going to do ua content in uh brett's campaign but a reworked kind of plasmoid that's closer to like sort of a changeling in uh brett's campaign we're going to do the echo knight concept that i had i might do some multi-classing with that i have a really cursed one that i'm thinking about doing because I don't feel the need to level up an Echo Knight past, like, 7. So I might instead do a triple multi-class for something so fucking cursed that I've thought of that apparently other people have made, like, full-on theses about, and I love the idea of it. fungus boy oh yeah nah the reason i'm not gonna do the echo knight thing on joe's campaign is because i keep being enticed by the idea of playing a disgusting mushroom boy that stinks like death and that one's gonna be fun as well because someone gave me a really good concept for that too and i could totally make that work better in joe's world that already has a mushroom boy class like like a race designed for it so i'm like why don't i just fucking Swap these two around and make this work for that. Gonna play the Mushroom Boy from Darkest Dungeon. That isn't exactly inaccurate. <laughs> that isn't exactly inaccurate. I imagine he will not wear much clothes because there's no need. To him, he is simply a natural being of, pl of plant nature. Constantly sort of like Jojo posing <laughs> Like a like a weirdo Make him mute why would I play dude more power to anyone that plays a mute D&D &D character, but why? Okay <laughs> That's a lot of work to do that and do it in a compelling way. That's fun for the party. Not, I couldn't do it. I don't have the power to do that. Mushrooms aren't plants. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. But yes, they are. In, in the grand scheme, they're part of nature. And they're sure as shit not mammals. <laughs> or reptiles. 
They're closer to plants than they are to animals. Stupid, stupid idiot. But yeah, I'm thinking I might, I'm thinking my Echo Knight character, and I'm not saying this is what I'm going to do, but uh, cause I have like a month to decide. But part of me wants to play an Echo Knight Warlock. Because what I can do is spec the Warlock into an ability that makes all my Eldritch Blasts push the enemy back 10 feet, which would be coincidentally 10 feet into my Echo Knight, whom they would not be able to escape without attacking because if they try to move away from the Echo Knight, I would then proc an attack of opportunity with Warcaster that would again push him another 10 feet back with a second Eldritch Blast, putting them behind the Echo Knight now, whom they will have to go around to get to me already taking 20 feet of movement if I hit both of them. And then if I spec a little bit into sorcery, and this is like, th then you can get some AOE shit that sticks them to the ground. So you can also put an AOE down, push everyone with your Echo Knight Echoes into an AOE on the ground that slows them all, and therefore become just the most cursed zoner ever. I'm, it's the slime character. And I love the idea of it for the slime guy of just shooting slime at people so hard they get knocked back like like just Nickelodeon slime cannons at people. <laughs> it's just bullying build. I've been thinking about it. It's <laughs> It would mean that I don't get any of the subclasses up past like five levels, but I think that as far as I'm concerned, all the classes that I'm choosing don't really benefit so much from being super high level as you do with like a wizard being like, you don't want to multi-class a wizard because then you don't get like your god tier spells. But like if I'm doing a lot of the more like half casters, then I'm, then I'm, if I'm doing a bunch of front loaded classes, then it's a little bit more, you know, justifiable. And I really just want to, dude, like the, I really want to do a character that's like heavily multi-classed and like experiment with something that's really cursed. So I'm thinking about it, dude. I'm thinking about doing bully. <laughs> what if you just take one level in all the classes? Eventually you wouldn't be able to do it because you wouldn't have the stats. The way stat spreading works is that you can't do multi-class of everyone in the game. You just can't. And also it would suck so bad. It would suck so bad. Tomato hated my idea, feels bad, man. Sorry, dude, your idea sucked. I'm sorry I had to I had to DM you and tell you it sucked. But it sucked. Okay. The thing is that with Echo Knight, there's like a point where I'm going to have to go over with Brett our own accepted rules for Echo Knight because it's one of the most clumsily written fucking classes in the whole game and anyone that knows D&D knows what I'm talking about in that there is like a thousand different instances where you can be like, well, this could be interpreted this way, or it could be interpreted this way. And that's just about everything in it. And it's really cool and a good class, but like, maybe you can cast from the Echo Knight's position during an attack of opportunity, or maybe you are required to attack from your character's position, despite the fact that it was your Echo Knight that procced the attack of opportunity. It's some really stupid bullshit. I don't want to get super into it because it's a bunch of like actual logistics crap that doesn't make any fucking sense, but it's a cool character. I'm excited. I'm excited regardless of what I decide to do with the Echo Knight. It'll be a cool class because I'm either going to do <laughs> Cause there's two cursed options. There, there's either that warlock idea where I become a bully or I become an omega bully. And this one is one I noticed on my own. There's a there's an even more omega bully version of the Echo Knight that is straight up toxic. And it is, you get Echo Knight up to level six to get your like extra attack and everything. And then you start going into barbarian until you get Ancestral Guardians, which can proc off of Echo Knights. And then, you, whenever you attack someone with your Echo Knight, the, that person has disadvantage on any attack that isn't attacking you. 
You're 30 feet away because your Echo Knight was the one that procked the melee attack. So this fucking asshole that just got slapped in the ass by your Echo Knight with Ancestral Guardians is staring at the Echo Knight and realizing it's pointless to attempt to kill the Echo Knight because they are not you. They will have disadvantage attacking your Echo Knight. If they wish to attack you instead, they'll have to move towards you, which will therefore proc an attack of opportunity by your Echo Knight. If they attempt to attack another player, they will be attacking at a disadvantage because Ancestral Guardians forces any attack that isn't at the direct person that, atta- that started Ancestral Guardians, which is my Barbarian, uh, to attack at a disadvantage. It's essentially the most cursed fucking thing you can do to anyone in the whole game is what I've gathered. Does Sentinel work with Echo Knight? Yes. <laughs> and it is like a required take if you're doing melee Echo Knight. Not just disadvantage for the others, but they also have resistance. Yeah, it's like if I want to do tank build. So really, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an Echo Knight character and just see based on what the other players in the group are doing and just decide which one I'm going to multi-class into. Because if we need, like, a frontliner, doing that barbarian mix is fucking OP as shit. But if we need, like, someone with a little bit more range, that Eldritch Blast, like, utility one is fucking crazy. There's a feat that lets you have multiple reactions per turn too, right? I don't know about that. I've never heard of that, but probably it might exist. It sounds really strong if it does though, for certain characters. That sounds really strong if it exists. That's Pathfinder. Yeah. If you had multiple reactions per character, well, per turn, some characters would just be insanely OP. Like, Circle of Spores Druid would be broken. If you have a druid, you need to bully them to cast thorns. I think we will have a druid. I think someone in the group is playing a druid. Do you know who you will be playing with? I do, but I'm not going to say the list yet in case stuff changes. So as to not make anyone, like, uncomfortable. So I'm going to hold off mentioning it until Brett wants to talk about it. But the group is very good. But uh, we're still like a, we're still a couple weeks out from starting, so I'm not about to be like, we're playing with this person, this person, I'm fucking super excited, and then something changes. Do we know those guys? Yeah, you do. Have you ever had a toxic DM tomato? Brett, at the end of every single session, tells me that what I did was dumb every session. Every session, he DMs me, and he says, you did a dumb move that time. Remember what you did? And I say, I thought I did pretty good, and he says, wrong, in all caps. (laughs) He says, wrong. Wrong. I almost was not able to stream today, so it's good that I was able to pull something together because um, some stuff came up. I also had to go in, dude, I had to go in at 11 a.m. to like sit in an office for five minutes at a doctor's, not even a doctor, like an orthodontist, so they could like check something and be like, yeah, looking good, and then tell me to leave. Like half an hour drive there, half an hour back, there for five minutes. And then I'm like back home and it threw off my entire sleep schedule. Now I feel like I'm fucking dying. Like I got pranked. Looking good, get out. I'm like, dude, why did I even have to sit here? Did they kick you on the ass on your way out? No, they were just like, dude, I had Invisalign like a year ago and it's like all out of my system now, but they were like, they were checking to make sure that like I had like, that it was still working. Cause like, you know, you want to make sure it's working even after it's out of your system and not being used anymore, like with the normal retainer you have. And they're like, they check it and it's like, yeah, looking good. And then they told me to get out. And I was like, did this, dude, 
I waited sitting in the goddamn chair as a single orthodontist checked every single other person in the entire room but me for like fucking tw like 40 minutes. And I'm just sitting there like, all you have to do is open my mouth, look at it for one second, then tell me to leave. I, I was like so close to being like, dude, I got like stuff to do today. And this, you said this would be a five minute appointment. I've been here for like fucking 30, 40 minutes now. Can we like get me out of here? I'm not even, you're not even doing anything. Jaw murdering scam artists. I lost three teeth to one of these massacres. I, I mean, I don't know what kind of psycho you were going to, but mine is a fairly competent doctor as per many recommendations and I've used them for my entire life. Uh, out of your system, did you eat the Invisaligns? Yes, that's what they encourage. So you obtain like, you know, their nutrients at the end. They sometimes file down teeth without telling you. Are you guys dumb? Wait, are you? You you cannot not know someone is filing your teeth down. Like, you will you will feel that, and they have to be in your mouth to do that. You can't just be like, I quietly, secretly filed your teeth down without you knowing. You guys have some weirdos that you hire then, because uh, they, I've never had anyone, any doctor that's in my mouth, never establish at every single point exactly what they're doing and why. Ever. You need to go to a different orthodontist. I was getting a filling put and it didn't numb my mouth properly and it was a cruci. Okay, now you're talking about dentists. Gang! <laughs> you know orthodontists and dentists are also different, right? I don't think you do. Cause now some of you are like, dude, I had a cavity and this orthodontist fucking pulled my tooth right out. If you go to an orthodontist for a cavity, you've already gone to the wrong place. You are at, you are at the wrong one. Orthodentist. <laughs> what do you mean they are different? I I do not have time to unpack this. No wonder that guy lost three teeth. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, orthodontists are for braces, like tooth alignment, jaw stuff. Like they're they're for like very specific stuff. They are not for cleaning your teeth or dealing with cavities or fucking root canals and stuff. They don't do that. So if an orthodontist is fucking around your teeth, they're very definitely going to explain what the fuck they're doing. I mean, those braces, I had braces when I was fucking like 12. And I was one of the only people that whenever I had braces, I was like, everyone was like, everyone always wants these fucking neon pink ones that you can see in the dark. And I'm like, can you just give me like the most basic unnoticeable version of the braces fucking possible and get me out of here? It was like such a weird thing. <laughs> Everyone's like, you want like RGB teeth? You want these things to fucking like stun animals when they try to attack you in the forests? I was like, no, I just want mine to be the most basic color the same way I do my shoes, dude. The most basic thing you got, please. And they were like, nerd. It's what, literally what they say to me and then they get back to work. And I'm like, fucking what? Hey, dork, don't you want to be quirky? <laughs> I 
But yeah, needless to say, I was very frustrated at 11 a.m. today when I had to see them and they literally were just like, <laughs> looking good, get out. After I was there for 40 minutes in the office and the guy was in there for about 30 seconds. And I was like, couldn't we have like time to this better? Couldn't you have at any point been like, I'll be right back, 40 minute procedure. Let me just take a look inside this one just for a second. Just walk him by the table. Mm. Tomato had a very joyless childhood, it seems. What, because I didn't, because I didn't want my fucking, didn't, because I, I didn't want my bracers to like be able to fucking knock planes out of the sky because of the reflection from the fucking, the bright lights ejecting from my bracers could like stun a, a, like a pilot in a plane. Like, because I didn't, because I didn't want mine to like stun people driving by. When I open my mouth? That's why my childhood was boring? Do you ever have, have to get banned with your braces? I think I was before, I think I was before the time of those. Cause no, I didn't. I never had to get anything like extra. I think, I think that was like, I think I got mine out just before like people were like, yo, let's make braces more miserable again. The bands are for jaw alignment. Oh, to trust me, every time I've gone into an orthodontist and a dentist, every single one of them is like, yo, your jaw is like fucked up. It cracks every time you open it. Do you want us to try to fix that? I'm like, God, no. Don't even, don't even fucking bother. I got punched in the jaw in karate. Like I'm never, like I don't, get, like unless it's gonna kill me or it's noticeable when I open my mouth and close my mouth or I'm gonna get like arthritis that's going to kill me when I'm older. No, and they're like, probably not. It's just like, not normal. I'm like, fucking, there's a lot of things aren't normal in this world, is what I say in a sort of ominous way. And I stand up and walk out without paying. But I don't have TMJ. <laughs> At least not yet. I had an x-ray done for TMJ like a couple months ago and it came back as no, no dice on the TMJ. So I've just got a cracky jaw for no reason. Go figure. I got it from chewing rocks. Yeah. I can't help myself. TMJ. What does that mean? Too much jaw? Yeah, they sand some of it down. That's why people don't like orthodontists. They gotta get that jaw out of there, so they sand some of it down. Dude, I actually had a dream that I remember last night, and it sort of relates to, not even last night, Three hours ago, during the three hours of extra sleep I got after I got back from the orthodontist, and it was about, and it was actually very thematically similar. I, I, I dreamt that I, you know, like sort of like fucking, like Deus Ex or like Cataclysm style. I dreamt that I went to a doctor's office, and was like I want fucking CBMs. I want you to give me cybernetic power, and I didn't get them. Uh, mainly because the doctors I went into were extremely incompetent. <laughs> and, I, and I definitely remember at multiple points being like, there's no way I'm letting you do this. You guys clearly don't know what you're doing. And they got like angry that I wouldn't let them like give me like super muscles. I was like, there's no fucking way that's how this works. Like I would cut them off at multiple points. They'd be like, if you want to do it, then you do it. I'd be like, what are you fucking, uh? I, I remember it like perfectly. It happened three hours ago and I didn't end up getting any superpowers. All I remember was a very large needle. A very, <laughs> a, like an uncharacteristically like cartoon sized needle. And I took it like a fucking champion. 
And then they said, oops, that was the wrong one and took it out and then grabbed another one that was normal size. And I was like, I'm done with this. And I woke up. I was like, all right, I, this is like a comedy. I'm done. <laughs> I don't even get the cool dreams, dude. I get the fucking, I get the intro to cool dreams or I have to deal with all the bullshit. Left the dream without paying. Whatever, man. Look, I'll tell you what. When, if they pull it off in my lifetime and cybernetics become a thing, you bet your ass I'm gonna get myself some like hydraulic ass cheeks or something. But you bet your ass I'm also gonna make sure I go to a decent one for it. If I'm gonna get a hydraulic asshole, all right, I might as well, might as well pay for the best. Bio dumpy. <laughs> Cyber dumpy, not bio dumpy. I wouldn't fuck around with like genetic reprogramming. All right, chat. I do robo. I do like robot parts because I care not about my flesh form, really. But if someone was like, if I inject you with this, your arms will become 20 times stronger. I'd be like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the one that, uh, the one that's machine that I can... Like, you know, very clearly understand. I asked for this. <laughs> Unlike some people, I literally asked for this. I wanted this ass. If it's cybernetics, couldn't you just upgrade them? Chat, the thing is, if you have to go to, if you go to one cybernetics place and they give you a really shitty cybernetic and two months later, you're like, I want to upgrade my cybernetic. What the fuck was the point? You might as well have gotten the good one to begin with. All right. I want my ass, yeah, to be military grade. Okay. Or what's the fucking point? I want people to fucking look over at that at my ass, my clearly cybernetic steel buns, and go, oh my god, whoa. Or what the fuck was the goddamn point? But I would never upgrade my ass, because I've got concert and marching band ass, and people who know, know that I don't need any upgrades. Mm-hmm. How would you poop? God, freak. You never ask someone that. You're a freak. Everyone shame him. Shame. 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 They shame, but they also want to know. No, you don't. I only tell other people that have invested in pointless cybernetic enhancements for parts of their body that aren't necessarily required to have cybernetic enhancements. I'll only tell it to other people with stupid, random, useless cybernetic enhancements like hydraulic eyelids. Not eyes, eyelids. Only the eyelid part. My eyes are never dry. I can blink so fucking fast. You can hear it when my eyes blink. It sounds it sounds like that every time I blink. <laughs> so it just says extendo toes. Dude, look, chat. I'm not going to say it, 
No, I am. The only thing that monkeys have on us, like fucking apes, like all of them have on us, is that they they can pick up shit with their feet way easier than we can. It's kind of a bummer that we sacrificed like all that extra meat down there, all that extra complexity down there for them went straight up to our brains instead. And it's kind of a fucking bummer. You know what I mean? Because I, it would be fucking rad to be able to strangle someone to death with my feet. You know, if I was in a battle. You know? Would it though? Yeah. It would. Stop talking about feet. <laughs> what are you guys so like scared of? You guys are freaks. Like, a little weird. We're kind <laughs> we're kind of pathetic in that regard. Yeah, dude. We we lack so many options. Like imagine, chat. Imagine being able to fuck it. Imagine how much more stuff you can carry around. Actually, I guess the same amount because you'd still need two legs to walk with. Imagine how many more. Imagine being able to fucking game with your goddamn feet hands. Imagine being able to handle your keyboard and mouse with your feet hands. You already can, not to the same level. Idiot. God damn it, you guys are dense today. Chat is a chat. It is quite literally not feet anymore. It is basically copying and pasting your hands where your feet should be. Do you understand? Cause I feel like you don't fucking understand. It would be unidentifiable, just like it is for the monkey. You guys all keep talking about returning to monkey, but there's only one thing to return for, and it's to get those feet. I mean hands, hand feet. Sort of kick puncture, yeah. Squidward said it best, folks. I genuinely can't think of a single moment when Squidward fucking ever broke into direct conversation about his many identical hand feet. And I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Monkeys can't do taxes. What a pointless fucking detail to remind everyone of. They can't do taxes because no one dares tax them, chat, okay? Yet. Yet. You guys see that Ubisoft made an announcement that they're making some cool NFTs, some NFT stuff. You guys see that Ubisoft is getting into NFTs? I saw that. I saw Ubisoft is getting into NFTs. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, dude! NFTs of the future, non-fungible... Dumb. Uh. Why, God, why? Ubisoft must have missed the memo that Steam banned NFT games. Well, Ubisoft doesn't need Steam. Ubisoft has its uh, thriving launcher, Uplay. Uh, so it doesn't need Steam. Stupid. Like, idiot. Like... <laughs> I also saw that EA already looked at Battlefield 2042 or 3 and was like, oh, oops, we're making a new one already. Everyone jump ship. We're going, uh, we're going to make a hero shooter out of Battlefield. And I, I laughed. I gut laughed. I gut laughed. I fucking full belly chortled. Ha 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 ha. As I watched EA slowly but surely choke out and strangle one of its last surviving brands as it slowly pivots towards Konami tier bullshit. EA is 
ha has a slow decline into Konami, like the worst outcome for a publisher. And they they are <laughs> another finger curls. You hate to see it? No, I actually love to see it. EA deserves whatever whatever comes to them. Uh, I actually wish for the demise of EA and all of its properties. But, like, it's one of the only publishers that I truly do wish didn't exist. Like, they are... Konami is a bunch of fucking idiots, but they made some good stuff. EA hasn't made a good fucking thing, like an actually genuinely good fucking thing since Titanfall 2, and they fucked that. They fuck that so bad. They fuck every goddamn brand that they get. They ruin everything. They are fucking industry poison. What about Star Wars Fallen Order? More like Star Wars fucking useless plotline that didn't matter. Fucking hate that game. Hate that game. Hate that game. Hated it. Hated it. And the only thing that really cements my view that EA are a bunch of fucking hacks is that they're remaking Dead Space 1. A game that quite literally is one of the first times I've seen someone try to do a remake and I've been like, this super doesn't need one. Dead Space 1 has aged shockingly well. What are you doing? What the fuck is the matter with you guys? Like, the dumbest fucking... You kill the company that made Dead Space 3. You literally blow their brains out all over the wall and everyone's staring at you like a psycho and then you reach down and pick up Dead Space and you say, and now I will do it again better. And you make the first one again? Hey EA, how about you focus on making decent video games rather than remaking the good ones people already made for you? Hmm? How about you focus on new ones? Cause you can't even do those. Why are you trying to go back to the old shit that's already fine? EA hasn't made a decent video game since Battlefield 4. Titanfall 2 is the best recent video game that comes to mind that EA made. I haven't played Apex, so I'm not going to speak on it. Tomato, you see the Game Awards nominations? Total shit this year. I have not. I'll look it up. 2021 Game Awards nominees. Let's see. Game Awards is a fucking stupid thing. I hate Game Awards but I will happily go through everything. How do I see the nominees? There we go. Game Awards is quite genuinely a joke, uh, but... <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Game of the year. Deathloop, It Takes Two, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart. God, games really were not that great. There were not that many psycho crazy good uh, games that came out this year, huh? Cause like, there's only a couple in there that I'm like, yeah, that deserves to be in game of the year. Uh, Deathloop does not deserve to be in Game of the Year. It was okay. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, it Takes Two I didn't play, but I'm not an idiot. I've seen gameplay of It Takes Two, and I've seen partial playthroughs of it, and that game looks like it fucking slaps, even though it's not something I necessarily want to stream. Uh, and I would give It Takes Two a fucking any accolade in the world after what Take Two the fucking company wants to do to it. It almost feels like they get a default win in some fucking, in some section because of the bullshit they have to deal with. It feels like they are owed something in return. But uh, Metroid Dread, I don't really have any interest in Metroid Dread or many 2D Metroid games because whenever I think about a Metroid game, I instead start thinking about Castlevania and then I get sad because I'd rather be playing a Symphony of the Night style Metroid game with loot, like real loot, and like RPG mechanics, and Dread will not provide that to me. Psychonauts I haven't played, because I haven't played the first one, and um, it's not like a, I don't want to play it, it's just like I haven't had time, and I'd like to play the first one first before I play Psychonauts 2. 
So that's a while out for me. Ratchet and Clank is a pretty game. Anyways, Resident Evil Village was uh, staggeringly average. <laughs> and I played through that game, I played through that whole game. I would describe Resident Evil Village as staggeringly average. Uh, it, it was not, it didn't feel like, it never, I, I did not like a lot of that game. And I think it came down to the fact that I thought Ethan was the worst fucking character ever. And I, it took me out of it so much because he was quite genuinely a miserable being. And I think it, I think it genuinely took away points. <laughs> Because I thought that Ethan was the worst written fucking being ever. Like, there were really good parts of it, but Ethan Winters is genuinely a... He's a... I would find a loaf of sourdough bread with a gun taped to it more compelling as a character than Ethan Winters. Don't shit on sourdough. It's a compliment to sourdough. I love sourdough, that's why I'm saying it. Oh my God, are we just, wait, Returnal came out this year? Wait, why am I seeing Returnal in best game direction but I'm not seeing Returnal in game of the year? Wait, hang on. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, no, no fucking way. No. <laughs> Dude, chat. I, I'm gonna get fucking angry. I'm getting. I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. Cause I thought Returnal was last year, and that's why it couldn't be in Game of the Year this year. Cause like I, I'm times fucking warping for me. Returnal came out in 2021, huh? And you're telling me that it didn't get. You're telling me that it wasn't good enough to be better than either Deathloop, It Takes Two, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts 2, Ratchet and Clank, Rift in Time, or Resident Evil 8? <laughs> Deathloop absolutely deserved, deserves to be in the game direction category. Hang on, I'm gonna open this up on uh, the, the, the screen so that everyone else can see what I'm talking about. Give me a second. Uh, it's super duper, super duper. Super duper duper super duper does not deserve to be in game of the year. So, hang on, here's a uh, here's the game of the year section. Yeah, whatever. You use cookies. I don't care. Yeah, no. One of these should be replaced for Returnal. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, either Deathloop or Resident Evil Village or Ratchet and Clank. I know Metroid Dread is good, even though I haven't played it. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, Returnal deserves it. Returnal's a super unique. Uh, it's fucking actually criminal. Psychonauts is, at, even without playing Psychonauts, I can tell you that I'd like Psychonauts way more than some of these games, just from like the visuals and how unique it is. Um, One of these two, specifically. One of these three. One of these three, right here, shouldn't be on here. And frankly, all of these deserve to be below re uh, fucking Returnal, as far as I'm concerned. Returnal was fucking stellar. I'm angry. Best game direction. Ratchet and Clank was it? the absence of game direction and innovation. What is it talking about? That game is just a prettier version of the last Ratchet and Clank game. What are you fucking guys? Are you guys dumb? Ratchet and Clank is the stagnation of game development. Even I know that. We added a new character that's the same as the other character, bro. <laughs> They're identical, dude.
And I don't even think it's a bad game, but game direction means it does something unique with its game. Psychonauts deserves it. Deathloop deserves to be in this section because it's an innovative concept. Returnal deserves to be in this section. Takes two. It takes two deserves to be in this section. No, no. Get out. Fuck you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go back to the pretty game section. Go over there. Go anywhere over here. Get out. Get out now. Next category. Best narrative. I've never played a Life is Strange game. I have no comment. Uh, I haven't played it, but I've heard the story is really good and the writing's really good. I haven't played many of these. I, haven't, I did not play many AAA games this year because I thought they were mostly all boring. Uh, Deathloop. Its narrative was rushed. Uh... <laughs> Deathloop does not deserve to be on many of these at all. And I'm not trying to be like dumping on it. It's just like, it felt like half a game. Deathloop's narrative was rushed and a lot of it is all in like text logs, which I'm fine with in some situations, but even those are sort of sparse in detail. And you think if they're going to do a text log game, they would be a little bit more detailed with it and give me some actual content to read in it. But a lot of it is like arguments between characters that I never get to have a real conversation with as the main character to actually build their stories beyond like me hearing in on what they're listening to moments before I blow their brains out from a mile away with a pistol. So narrative. Uh, Deathloop is a cheaper version of Outer Wilds in every single way as far as a narrative is concerned. Like, I... <laughs> It, it, it's, there's not much there. Hey, does Outer Wilds not get renominated because of the DLC, which is basically a new game? Is that gonna be in here as like the DLC section? Best art direction. Dude, can this get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Dude, this is getting like comical. Get the fuck out. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. This is, so it's, again, Psychonauts, fine being here. Art direction, Psychonauts can be in there. Ratchet and Clank, actually a genuinely beautiful game, sure. They've been a couple now, it's getting a little bit derivative, but Psychonauts deserves a lot of art direction shit in general. It's earned that. You, I don't know. This game looks really good and I just haven't had time to play it. But I swear to God, I thought Kenna Bridge of Spirits, despite me not playing it, would be in the game of the year section because I was hearing a lot of really good stuff about it. But instead we got Deathloop 18 times. Let's see if Deathloop shows up again. <laughs> Come on! Dude, Deathloop has two songs! It has two songs! Two! It only has two of them! How much did, how much did they pay? I know this guy's good for, I, I know the Game Awards likes Todd and they'll do anything for Todd. And that means Bethesda gets a lot of stuff in here. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. And this is going, this is going to make people a little bit angry. Cyberpunk deserves to be in more of these. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, while Cyberpunk was a buggy game, it deserves to be, it deserves to have a little bit more presence in this. It does not deserve game of the year, but it should have been in here before music and score. Cause um, as far as, uh, let me, hang on, let me go back here. Cyberpunk should, wait, Cyberpunk isn't an art direction, but Deathloop is? Fuck yourselves, dude. This is genuinely such fucking stupid. What? The, genuinely, Cyberpunk's art direction is fucking bafflingly good. That's dumb. That's actually, like, distressing. Its gameplay was fucking beans. But its world design and visuals and direction is... Pro, like in, actually genuinely stellar. And that's really depressing that we're seeing Deathloop again. When all I think, all I remember from Deathloop is it's sort of a gross mishmash of Outer Worlds architecture and Dishonor 2. Sort of squeezed together awkwardly and uncomfortably. 
it is not didn't Cyberpunk 2077 come out last year? Yeah, but it's been coming out for the last year and a half, as far as patches are concerned. <laughs> Look, Cyberpunk has a lot of fucking problems, but I think it deserves to be a nominee in art direction over Deathloop, who's already had fucking, I guess is nominated in everything. I'm not saying it does, it's the best game to come out this year. It's fucking not. But it sure as shit deserves to be in art direction. And hang on, best narrative? Dude, Cyberpunk has a better overall narrative than Deathloop does. Sorry. Sorry, dude. I, that one's sort of stretching it, but it does. And music and score? Uh, I haven't played Artful Escape, but Cyberpunk's music is actually great. And I know Nier also has good music, but I don't think it does... That's a re-release. I don't think it should be on here. They had its chance. Nier is gonna win, but I don't know if that's fair. Cause it it's already, like this is like a re-release, isn't it? Nier is gonna win, but I think Cyberpunk would win otherwise. Is what I think. Oh, and hey Deathloop, good to see you in your two songs. Uh, what do we got next? Oh my fucking God. Oh my god. They shouldn't I they should shut down the game awards. <laughs> this is do they not have like is this wait, is this like voted by players? Like what's nominated or is this like actually a council of like fucking hooded gamers that vote these things? Who votes these? This is critics? Oh my god. Best audio design. I'll tell you which ones up here even deserve to have. I don't understand why. They must have been running out of nominees. <laughs> why the fuck is Resident Evil Village on this? Like, it's <laughs> I don't even think of any, I can't think of unique audio design for Village. It the only things that deserve to be on here for audio design is Forza Horizon 5 because it's gen like I've played enough of it to know that it is that's got some fucking slapping audio design like genuinely and Returnals is pretty good but it was never like whoa Ratchet and Clank's is really good Ratchet and Clank as a visual experience and audio experience is really genuinely good so it's like these three make sense Deathloop needs to get the fuck out of here I don't know why they keep audio not music though yeah I'm talking audio I'm, I'm saying audio, not music. Returnal did a lot of really funky, unique biannual audio. Yeah, 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 exactly. They did a lot of really unique shit with their audio, which made it super alien and really cool. Returnal is genuinely, I think, the best AAA, like, large-scale game to come out this year. Compared to a lot... Looking at the list, Returnal's, like, my number one as far as AAAs, I, I would say up here so uh i guess next up we're gonna see uh death loop and a couple other games oh no this is best performance okay uh i haven't played this uh lady demert that ugh. she's she exists in the game for about 20 minutes who fucking cares oh my god it sucks because i would say that this guy would get it as far as these five are concerned even though i don't think it should be I think Cult was decent. I think Cult was the best part about Deathloop. <laughs> I, I could say that pretty comfortably that Cult was the best part of Deathloop. I don't, I think people that didn't like Deathloop that much would probably agree that Cult was the best part of Deathloop. And you know, his interactions with Juliana were the best parts of Deathloop. So those two are, should be on here, like genuinely. I'll be fair about that. That's worth, that's good. That's fine. Games for impact. Okay, I looked, I started sweating. I was like, did Deathloop like impact people? Did it send a pro social meaning or message? I haven't played any of these, so I don't have any opinion on this. I, I'm gonna go to the next one because I genuinely missed all these, but I did hear Chicory is really good. Uh, best ongoing. Come on. Uh, 
you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know it's Final Fantasy XIV or Apex, probably. No, I don't know. A lot of people play Apex, but I haven't played any of them, so I really don't have an opinion on this. But I think 14, Final Fantasy 14, is objectively superior to all of these. And I know I'm biased because I really like um, B, like BRs that much, but uh, those devs have actual genuine passion behind what they do in such an unbelievably like impressive way that I it is like almost insulting to not go, hey, Final Fantasy is the best on this. Like, it's I don't have to play the new expansion to know that. Best indie. I forgot about Loop Hero. I, I forgot Loop Hero existed. Uh, that's door. Uh, I didn't play Death Storm. 12 minutes. I didn't play that either because I heard it was shit. I heard that one was shit. I, I didn't hear good things about it. Inscription's the best one in here, hands down. I was like thinking about the others. Inscription's the best one, hands down, no doubt in my mind. Hang on, I gotta check something on another monitor. Give me one second. Okay. Sorry, I had to... Let's go over to the other side. Uh, yeah, it's inscription. Not shocking. Well, I won't be shocked when that wins. Best mobile game presented by Ver Verizon, huh? All right, next category. Uh, best community. Hey, gang, get. Hey, hey, Game Awards. If you don't want to be treated like fucking idiots, get your sponsored sections out of the goddamn Game Awards. Because it, it becomes a little obvious how some of these have this many nominations where you're literally presenting entire categories off of sponsorships. Bud? Fucking Christ. That is embarrassing. Next. Best community support. Dude. For real? I'm giving it to No Man's Sky. It's No Man's Sky 100%. They, Final Fantasy very close behind, but No Man's Sky absolutely 100% deserves that. Uh, it's close between these two though, but I, at this point, those devs are doing every update they've done for fucking free and have been doing it for years. And uh, I've played enough No Man's Sky to know the game's pretty good and it's not perfect, but they deserve a fucking, they deserve some sort of recognition for that work because they've done a lot of it. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, now we got a innovation and accessibility sponsored by Chevrolet, dude. Let's get out there, dude. Innovation and accessibility. What the fuck happened in Far Cry that was innovative in accessibility? I know there's like a fucking, what, there's a dog with like, that, that, is it the dog? I'm confused what it's getting at. Is it Chorzo? I'm fucking confused. <laughs> what? What's the achievement? It's about the options menu. Ah, colorblind settings. Hey, this shouldn't be an award. It should just be common sense. Why do they need to fucking pat someone on the back for adding basic things that should be in every game anyways, Chevrolet? This, this is a reach. We don't need 30 categories for these fucking things. I don't understand why the fuck they're like cheering it on. Like this shouldn't be something that needs to be done. Also, I've never heard of the veil. Is this like the, is this the pick they put in to make it look like they care about indie games at the Game Awards? <laughs> Do they just pick one out of a bag and go like, ah, the veil, yes, very good. Best VR or AR? L-O-L, -L, dude. No one's tried it, so no one can vote for it, baby. Uh... Wait, where's 
into the radius. Sniper Elite VR was globally panned. Like, as in, like, mostly negative reviews on its release because it's terrible. Oh, now I'm seeing what's happening. Now I'm starting to figure it out. Maj it's If it isn't on the Quest or a PlayStation headset, they don't want it, is what I'm gathering. This is looking like an Oculus, Oculus accessibility only. Like, unless it can be played on Oculus, they never put it in for the running, is what I'm gathering. Unless it can be played on Oculus or PSVR, the two most accessible ones, it's out of here. Which is sad because, hey, hey, this shouldn't be here, and what should be here is Into the Radius. Uh, hands down. That's sad. Oh, the meta, baby. Did Walking Dead VR come out this year? No, it came out last year. Best action game. Oh, boy. It's a decent combat loop if the AI had a brain. Uh, Returnal's the best one in this. Back for Blood's good, but it's not great. Chivalry 2 deserves to win, actually. Yeah, it's Chivalry 2. Chivalry 2 wins, Returnal close second, Back for Blood, Deathloop, Ubisoft, you should leave the exits. I take Deathloop any day of the week over one of your games. Be gone. Be gone, demon! I spray water in its face. Be gone! Get out of here! Fuck you! Next category. Best action adventure. Huh? Wait, Deathloop? I'm looking around for Deathloop. Hello? It's, it's gonna, it's probably gonna jump out and kill one of the other contestants. Any minute now, probably, uh, is what I'm gonna assume. for the best action game combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. Dude, I'm just sitting here like, what the f, wait, hang on. Hang on. Gang? Hey gang, I know that it wasn't ex like a stellar game, but where's Monster Hunter Rise? Where the fuck is Monster Hunter Rise? Is it an action adventure game? I'm saying it deserved to be on, it should have been in one of the sections before this, specifically music score. At the very least, another one. That makes me angry. That's depressing, actually. Yeah, best action adventure haven't played, don't care about, but not because I think it's bad. Uh, no, no, maybe one of these two. I played this one and it's a pretty good action adventure game. I'll give it that. That's messed up, Brett. Did Brett try to shoot down my uh, my OP build I was talking about? I heard you're talking about Echo Knight Warlock. Just so you know, force movement does not proc opportunity attacks. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I'll see you in court. Best role playing, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, no. Actually, mm. It's a Monster Hunter Rise. But, uh... It should be in more stuff than this. Cyberpunk definitely doesn't get best roleplay. That's... I haven't played any of these other ones, but uh, I would never play Shin Megami Tensei. No offense, but Persona exists. Uh, moving on. Best fighting game. It's Drive. I don't have to play it to know it. Next. Best family game. 
for the best game appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform. Hey, I don't think It Takes Two is actually very much of a good game to play with the whole family. Isn't that game kind of like sad? Isn't that game like a game about like divorce? I'm not sure I'd want to play that with like my, my wee lad. What if my family's just two people? I mean, it's for a very specific uh, combination of people in a family, I guess. Maybe, I'm not, but this is like, the rest of these, dude, this is like, I don't think this category needs to exist. <laughs> Cause it seems like there's sort of a, re like it, it's sort of a, um, like the, this is multiplayer. It has two person multiplayer. It's not, just give Nintendo a prize or something. Like, I don't know, give Nintendo something. Best sim or strategy. I mean, people say Age of Empires, but Inscription's card mechanics actually slap. But, uh, probably Age of Empires 4, even though I haven't played it. This can be gone. This game's a bad game. This was shit. And, uh, I'll play Civ, thanks. Uh, and, um, I'll play a game that turns on when I press the start button, thank you. Uh, moving on. Best sports or racing game. Come on, baby. Give me a fucking break. There's no point in even having a goddamn com like competition for this one. Uh, next. Uh, best multiplayer. Nah. Maybe I haven't played Omega Lull. Valheim came out this year. It's back for Blood or Monster Hunter Rise. And frankly, I'm gonna say Rise, because Rise has been completely absent from these, and it deserves it, even if I don't really like parts of Rise. Content, you know it's gotta go to Dream, baby. You know what I'm saying, game. We gotta give this one. He needs it, bro. He needs it, bro. <laughs> what is this? For a streamer or content creator that has made an important and positive impact in the community, Dude, it's going to, this is gonna sound mean, but I genuinely don't know who any of these people are because most of their names look like someone just smashed their face into a keyboard. Are these like their usernames? I don't know who these people are. Where's Tomato Gaming? Gref. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I didn't look at the others. I saw Grefk, and I'm like, that is, that is a character name I would make, like, playing, like, a fucking, like, shithole character in Dark Souls that I then, like, fuck up the sliders for. Grefk. <laughs> Who's Grefk? Uh... I, like, is this, some of them might be first names or last names. Why... I'm confused the, like, difference. I have no idea who any of these people are. Should I? Am I, like, out of the loop? Or is this, like, is this, like, a lot of, like, uh, like foreign streamers and stuff, too? Because that's fine, if so. But, like, I'm not that out of the loop, I don't think. Am I an idiot? Because it's depressing that the only one I do know is this guy because uh, I hear nightmare stories about him all the time. And I've seen as many posts where he says he loves his audience and it makes me uh, uh, feel unwell by proxy of reading the message. I've seen those. I know those. And I would say that's not a positive impact. That's actually an incredibly toxic impact. Uh, I would actually say that Dream, despite not knowing anything about him, has had one of the most toxic impacts on the gaming community as a whole in quite some time. Because he doesn't know how to handle his own audience. And allows them to just spiral out of control in such a toxic way that they send death threats to basically every single person he ever mentions. And that is on him. He absolutely shouldn't be on here. They should be looking at the fact- they should be looking at how their audience fucking interacts with the community instead of just how they interact with the community. <laughs> like, like, 
Like, that is their uh, that is their responsibility as a content creator is to keep that shit in check. I don't care how large you are. You can't just be like, I don't have any control over these people. You absolutely fucking do. Sorry. I don't know anything about the guy. I'm not going to speak like, oh, I think he's an asshole. But I do think every single content creator has a responsibility and has a direct impact on their audience. And uh, if I know for a fact, just from hearing your name, about how toxic your community is, you've done a shit job at it. You don't deserve to be a content creator of the year. I'm sorry. Best debut indie. I would give it to Valheim. Valheim fucking came out of the gate and like just fucking knocked everyone out of the park. I know Forgotten City is really good as well, but Valheim is uh, unbelievably good. And these are all good picks. I haven't played this one, but I know all the others. I'd, I'd give it to Valheim. Oh my God, it's so most anticipated game. Who fucking cares? Popularity contest, moving on. Best esports game. You know who's gonna win. This is nothing. Best esports athlete. I don't know who these people are. But I'm gonna give it to Simp. Moving on. Wait, I'm gonna give it to Simple. Wait. I'm gonna, move, I'm gonna give it to Colette. Do these people pick their names? Because they must, because if they don't, it's even more embarrassing. I'm moving on. My manager gave me the name Simp. <laughs> <laughs> My manager gave me the name Simp. Best esports team. Atlanta phase. Fuck real. Fuck the other one, dude. Let's give this one to the ones from Atlanta who stole the name. Let's give it to phase Atlanta, baby. Team spirit. DWG. We're moving on. Best. Oh my God. It's a whole section about this, huh? I don't know. Who, uh, side. Yeah. My username is, uh, my, my, my handle is. <laughs> My name's Bide. Ba Bide. I'm gonna give it to K Kona. Hell yeah, brother. Best esports events. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it to the PUBG Mobile Global Championship 2020. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't even the right year. <laughs> They didn't even get in the right year. They literally couldn't do it. <laughs> they couldn't do it. <laughs> they, could, they couldn't do it. They couldn't get it in the right year. They had to grab the 2020 version. It's gotta be the PUBG Mobile Global Championship 2020, baby. Fuck yeah. Gaming is back. Gaming is back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for, let's give it up for gaming. Let's give it up for gaming, everyone. Gaming is back. Gaming is back. We finally took it back. It's been a long year, but we finally got it back. Hey, this year sucked for gaming. <laughs> and nothing made it more clear than the Game Awards. Nothing made it more painfully obvious. This play, the only good things to come out this year were indie games, evidently. Uh, cause everything else was just derivative boring schlock. Wrong! Monster Rancher 2 comes out in two days! What's your favorite indie games this year? Uh, Inscription. Northern Journey. Those two both happened at like the same time. Uh, Into the Radius. I'm scrolling down my like stuff I played list. So I don't miss anything. It's definitely Omori. I did like Omori, but I thought it went far too long. I played through Omori off stream. 
Uh, I thought it ran too long. I thought it was too long for its story. Cruelty Squad, even though I think by nature of the game, thinking about nominating Cruelty Squad for anything is uh, like, like you don't you don't understand the concept of that game if you nominate it for an award in anything. <laughs> but like it's kind of like picking on yourself if you say that Cruelty Squad deserves like a fucking award in a commercial thing. You can't nominate that game. It's too cool to show up. It's gonna go to Gorbino's quest, man. Gotta go to Gorbino Quest, dude. I can't believe Piss Planet 13 flopped so hard. That's what I'm saying. The industry, honestly, gang, the industry is spiraling to nothing. All right. Oh, Library of Ruina. Uh, that deserves. That's on the list for my favorite indie games of the year. Easy. Library of Ruin is slapped. Pretty sure that's 2021. Yeah. That one's a good one. Uh, Outer Wilds again, baby. <laughs> uh, I gotta give it to Outer Wilds again. For, uh... Game of the Year DLC. Why is it there a DLC of the year? Is it because not, is it because they need more space for uh, esports? What about Deathloop? Oh baby, I gotta give it to Deathloop. You know I gotta give it to Deathloop. Deathloop, more like death poop. Fuck yeah! There it is. There it is! Look, chat. Video games are by nature derivative trash, and only every once in about a year and a half will a unique, interesting game release. This is unfortunate that this was the one year where nothing came out. Ever. Nothing, ca nothing happens. 2022 will be a lot better. Uh... I, I think we can all agree, even looking at like the AAA stuff, 2022 will probably have better options. This was genuinely a dead year as far as AAA is concerned. I sure hope because holy shit, there was like two good ones and everything else sucked. Stalker 2, baby, don't, don't even, don't, don't, that's sad. Don't do that. You're gonna get your heart broke. Don't do that. That's really sad. Adding me and going to Stalker 2, dude. I swear it's gonna be so good. Don't. Don't do that to yourself. AAA games are shit nowadays. It's all engagement and microtransactions. I disagree. That's not all AAA games. But a lot of them are. Look at the publisher. Just cross check the publisher and you'll know if that's the MO. Uh, so just avoid publishers if you don't like that kind of stuff. Because there are certain publishers that love that stuff, and there are ones that don't get involved in that crap. It just depends. I'm really happy with Forza. Yeah, that one's also very high in microtransactions, but it's one of the first ones that I didn't play much of it, but it, like, it's very obvious that they gave you enough content out of the gate that like microtransaction stuff is a, a tiny bit more acceptable because of just how much content is in it. Where it's like, it's all pointless. Like you don't really need any of it, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't play many games with microtransactions. Excited for JC simulator. You mean Jesus Christ simulator? Bro, when's that come out, dude? I can't wait to do some blaspheming. I Am Jesus Christ comes out in 2022. And it's a simulator about being Jesus Christ. And you know I'm going to play it. He returns. I'm so glad Ubisoft is doing NFTs. 
God, I hate Ubisoft. Hey, you guys want to play like a good video game? Y'all want to play like a good video game that uh, also could have definitely probably been on the Game Awards as a something that's still supported and updated despite it being out of early access for like two years and yet somehow after being out of early access they've added an entire story mode and like doubled the size of the map and added a ton of mechanics and new gameplay and new like zones on the house for free. Y'all want to play like Long Dark? Y'all want to play Long Dork? Y'all want to play Long Dong? I want to play Deathloop, actually. We're going to play Deathloop. That get, the, the Game Awards got me thinking about Deathloop. And now I think I'm going to buy Deathloop and play it. And I think we should all buy Deathloop and play it. We should all purchase Deathloop for 60 USD. Right now. If we know what's good for us. Finally, a good game. I love Deathloop. Every other game sucks but Deathloop. <laughs> the Long Dark. If y'all don't know what the Long Dark is, mm, yikes. Hang on, I'm uh, setting something up. I'm just setting up something. All right. We're gonna be playing a challenge. Oh, I should also, fuck, I'm so. Dude. I'm a doofus tier character lately. I, I'm like high tier doofus. Hang on, I need to log, I need to log into my notification system. because people have been donating and gifting subs and I've just been kind of ignoring them because I was furious about the game awards. Uh, Devil Summoner, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you, Devil Summoner. Ghoulzy with five gifted subs as well. Slow down, I'm bad. Five gifted subs on top of that. Thank you for your gifted generosity. Luxor Lux, thanks for the 500 bits. Amen to that content creator speech. So much respect. Dude, I mean, it's common fucking sense. I don't want to, like, make enemies with A1. But, like, I, I, I just... I, I've been in this game long enough to know that no matter how large you are, you can always go on record and say, don't do this thing. And if you can't do that, and I mean actually do it, not, like, fucking veil it as a joke or some half ass statement actually fucking go out and say don't fucking do this you dumbasses you don't deserve to have a platform IMO uh it, it's your fucking responsibility but yeah I don't want to get cancelled so I'm gonna move on hopeless rescue chat we're playing a challenge based version of the long dark we have seven to five days, maybe less, maybe three to two days to go all the way from the bottom of the summit of the mountain to the peak to collect a flare gun, which we will then go all the way back down. All the way back down, okay, to the coastline. All right, where we will then, okay, where we are then going to follow it along until we get all the way to the lighthouse, which we will then use, okay, to shoot a flare gun. A storm's coming, chat. A storm's coming, a real bad storm. The storm to end all storms, chat. And either we get the flare shot before then, or we die. Understand? Now, I know a lot of the layout of this game, but I am likely going to get lost and fuck up and lose. Okay? I'm sorry about that. 
but let it be known. I am a documented on-stream winner of The Hunted Part 1 and 2. Documented. Okay. Documented. Helpless rescue. Male survivor. So that I can... Listen to, so I can look at the clown, mainly more so than anything, uh, because the male one looks like a sad clown. I, th I bet the female one looks like a sad clown too, but I like the male guy's sad clown look. He looks like a very sad clown. Name challenge. <clears throat> Are you the last person alive? You have to know. If only you could get a signal out to someone. Play female for once. Chat, you want to know what it actually is? And it's genuinely like a thing where like, unless the game, like the, pl like I know a lot of friends that'll play like female characters for like whatever. I like to feel like I am directly in the game, like immersed. I, I rarely play a female character unless it's like genuinely like the story is about a female character. Like it, it, it's just my preference for like these kinds of things. Well, I, I, it, it, it's like, it's not a big deal. It's just like, I usually, I usually like to feel like I'm like directly, it's the same reason like a girl would play a female character instead of a male character, if they can. If it's the plot, that's one thing and that's fine, A-OK. -okay. I love Horizon, I play those games, but like if I have the choice, I'm gonna play a male character. Like just because I like to feel immersed in the story like that, you know? Recover the distressed, the distressed pistol from the summit of Timberwolf Mountain. Fire it from the top of Desolation Point Lighthouse. Okay, I know... <laughs> I know the way to get to Timberwolf Mountain. However, I don't know how to get to Desolation Point Lighthouse from Timberwolf Mountain. Cancel, dude. He won't play female characters, dude. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? Why won't he? <laughs> Hates dream and women. I'm shaking and crying. No, I just like clowns. <laughs> Stop your giving people fuel. Dude, if someone actually tried, for the shit I've said, if someone tried to cancel me, dude. Like, what, 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 I can't do anything about that. Like, uh, I can't do anything about that. You could grab so many little snippets of things I've said as like jokes. If you don't know me that well, it'd be fucking really easy to create a really out of context takedown video about me. It'd be very easily debunkable, but you could, I guess. We got permission, baby. Let's end this career. Hates pugs. Listen to how he just listen to how this guy talks about pugs. <laughs> listen to how he speaks about pugs, defenseless pugs. It's time. I've been stalling because I'm scared. He's deranged and sick. <sighs> Here we are. How much time we have? Six days, 23 hours, 57 minutes. Hang on. Hope Nuts and stuff. Okay, hang on, I need to, I can't fucking see. Can I? Let me just, no, I need these. I need to, a lantern. All right, perfect. Let's light it. Where am I? Cabin. Note left behind. You won't remember me. The world doesn't stop when the lights fade. This is how it begins. Stay calm, observe, survive. Your father saw this day. Don't believe what you hear. What he did was for a far off dawn. Maybe you can recall the fire. 
Your father understood that we dance for our children's children's children. My dear, one day you will feel the voices rise in your heart. Enter a cave and stand until stars appear. Climb the highest peak. Sing when the brutality hits. I'm here with you. The winter winds can only get so cold. Backer, four, seven, eight, three, no! <laughs> They're dead! I wish this game didn't have the contributed by backer stuff. It'd be a lot more immersive if it didn't have the... the ba this person wrote this. Hee <laughs> hee. You know? Let's grab this firewood. Let's grab this firewood. We gotta grab everything we can. We need to start moving. Cooking pot, take it. We scavenge your chat. We take everything we can, including this gun. Stacy's grape soda. We're taking that. Stacy won't be needing any more snare in case. Maybe want. Maybe want to trap something on the way. Accelerant, candy bar, newsprint, a safe, uh, pass, pass, pass on that tomato soup. Tomato soup. Uh, a fucking working revolver. This will be useful. Any bullets in there? <laughs> no. Take it. Firearm cleaning kit in case I have some spare time. Revolver ammo. Hang on. Let me just... Let me just get this loaded up. This will protect me. Ten rounds. We're gonna get this thing loaded. So dark? Yeah, it's uh, a dark room. There's no electricity, chat. What do you... Fucking expect. Long dark, chat. It's not just dark, it's long dark. Antibiotics, bandages, and antiseptic. We have everything we need. Except for clothes. The one thing the game didn't give us, uh, unfortunately, going into the first leg of our journey, is clothing. I'm guessing. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, it could be worse. We could be naked. <laughs> the sad clown is going to have to go somewhere else to get his clothes, unfortunately. We're gonna check this first aid kit, and then we're moving on. We have to start moving. What have we, we don't done? have much time. We're gonna follow the train tracks. We gotta get a move on. Oh, it's the middle of the night. It's fine. It's actually super duper not fine. I don't really know the layout of this place, but it's not as cold as I thought it'd be. I wish I had a compass going into this, though. Promise I'm not super comfortable. I know where the ma I know the map's layout. I don't exactly know. This is dismal start attire. We'll be fine. I'm gonna put this out though. I can barely see. It's the middle of the night, but it's not storming and we do have a time limit. There's a place we can rest as soon as we find the railway. I don't have a compass. Uh, which means I can't necessarily locate exactly where I am without uh, a landmark, aside from that, the old trapper's cabin. So, uh, we're kind of just hoping I'm going in the right direction right now. It's not as cold as I assumed it would be. Don't worry, chat. We're not in any danger, even though it's a, a advanced darkness, okay? Because I have a gun. <laughs> Don't be worried about anything. We have a gun. Already lost? Nah, I'm going in a straight direction. Look, if I can't see the railroad directly over this hill, then I'll have a good idea of where I am. I lied. This didn't give me a better idea at all of where I am. But if we reach a wall at any point, basically, if we reach any landmarks, I know this area really well once I have a landmark, like once I know which direction I went from the cabin. Which will be very obvious soon. But we can't waste any time. We have seven days to do all this. All right, this is a timed sort of thing. So, we need to move. He's lost. Look, chat, either we reach the edge of a map, and we're fine, or we die and restart all the way uh, to the very beginning, and uh, hopefully that time spawn with clothes on. 
But I get the feeling that we are approaching exactly where I want to approach, okay? Every direction is good in general right now, okay? Because we're going north, and we're d the Trapper's Homestead is directly on the southern border of the map. So if we're not... If we don't hit that, then either we'll hit the edge of the map to the west, which is also much closer, and we haven't done that, which means we're heading east or north right now. And either one of those is fine. It takes a long time to die by freezing in this game on the difficulty that evidently this game... Eh, electrical lines in the darkness. You can't see them, but they're there. That means we might have hit the railway or some sort of street. So cold. We'll be fine! Stop panicking! Well, 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 would you look at that? Railway. Oh, he's making my head feel thick. Well, 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 would you look at that? Railway. We keep on heading north for now. Now that we know which way it is, this is north. It's the way we want to go. Which means I think there's a cabin, like, right here. Oh, yeah. This is where we'll hunker down. We'll loot whatever's over here. In this cabin. In the darkness. The snow's picking up. Goddamn freezing. Wow, good timing, actually, on this. This is insanely good timing. Dang, I'm good, dude. All right, let's hide. This is going to be hideout for tonight. Yep. Can't fucking see. So we're gonna get a fire lit in here. Cause we're probably going to wait the evening in this place. Uh, chances of success, 60%. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Everyone, everyone join me. Join me in prayer for the fucking fire to light, please. Come on, baby. Arise, fire. Arise, baby. It's as simple as that. All right, put this out. This fire doesn't, pro this doesn't project much light, but we can start prepping some things now. We're gonna add some more wood to this. And then we're gonna cook some water using the cooking pot. We're gonna melt two liters of snow is gonna take some time we have to warm up we're gonna spend the night in this place but I don't have much light left in my lantern so we're gonna use a match to try to look for lantern fuel on like the desks spray paint granola bar workshop camp office another lantern that works this will come in handy does it have more fuel than the other one? 0.6 liters. Almost a full thing. Can I empty this one out? Uh, no, but I can just drop the old one. Or we'll just use it for a minute and clear everything else out and then just swap it once it's out. Newsprint, we can use that. Inside the first aid Stop kit, we have here. bandages and painkillers. We don't need... Ooh! Lantern fuel! Well, there we go. I might take the one that's in better condition, then, of these two. Nah, these don't really take that much damage to lanterns. They kind of last a while. These things. Stack of papers. I need clothes, dude. Chat, that's the problem right now. If you want to know what the actual issue is with our uh, situation, we are naked. Like, full on, basically in the nude right now. And, uh, that's not good. That's really, really, really not good. Hey! Well, there we go. That'll come in handy. That'll come in handy. Now we can finally get some clothes on us. That's, uh, we could have worn this as a scarf, but instead all we can do is tear it up and destroy it. Uh, let's check upstairs before my lantern goes out. Uh, dead body. We'll loot that for clothes. Nothing. 
We don't need spray that paint. Useful. Shoes. Trail boots. Really good. Places to sleep. Damn, I should have lit this wood stove, but I couldn't see it before. Uh, alright. We are going to place the old one right there. And light up the new one and keep exploring. Well, hey. We'll keep warming up. All we're really using it for is the water. To Ooh, bedroll. Alright, perfect. Can't take this cloth to warm ourselves up. Uh, you can't. We don't know how to use those unless it's ah, amazing. Uh, the driving ones, not so much. Uh, we're going to want to ditch the driving ones. Uh, there's a couple things now we can take off. Uh, these shoes are being swapped for these, which are overall less temperature coverage, but it's going to keep us from getting uh, wet. Well, give us, some, give us some more weather protection, which is more important. So we're going to drop the old ones. We're going to put on this, which is better than nothing. And we're going to put on the mittens. And we're going to drop the other ones. Looking good, clown. Looking... Looking fancy. A note left behind. Beansty and I came up this way in the summers when we were knock-kneed, goofy kids. We fished and played with swords made out of sticks, wove leaky baskets from the reeds. You could row across the lake. Those little cabins at the far end where the tourists came and fished, hunted the deer, and had their parties. We stood behind the counter and watched Dad welcome them, looked at the guest book and read the names. When the summer was nearing its end and the cattails turned to fluff, we blew our wishes to the sky, always to come back, always. Back of four, six, seven, five. They're definitely dead. For sure. Chat, for sure. Super dead. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I'm, I stole their underwear. I, I have to. All right, I need it. It's fucking cold. See, chat, the trick is with this build, oh, well, with this challenge, we don't want to weigh ourselves down too much, so we need to be sort of conservative with what we decide to carry when we travel. That's got another couple uh, minutes, so it's melted, and that still has to boil. Uh, we'll need to put something else in this. There we go. We should, if we can, spend some time breaking down some extra wood. We're just helping ourselves with some on the ground for now. We're going to want some that we can use in the event of having to light a fire in an emergency, so... Can't have too much water. You can't have too much water, chat, dude. Never want, you know the one thing I always say, chat. You can't have too much water. Also, can't have too much herbal tea. Can't have too much. You actually can. It feels awful. All right, chat, take it easy. No one, no one asked you. Is the thing. Now I have to go outside and see what the weather's like because you're making me uncomfortable. All right, we're not doing anything tonight. We ain't doing nothing tonight, chat. Nothing. Tonight, <laughs> tonight's hangout night. All right. Oh, I have two bedrooms. Well, drop. We will do some inventory management tonight. Like I don't need multiple of those. Uh, yeah. Let's get some, let's get the rest of these clothes on. We got extra clothes now, point three. Oh yeah, there it is. And is this better than this? No. Then it will be dropped. Underwear, put on both pairs. We're getting, we're getting warm. We're getting warmer, dude. Uh, I do want to sleep. Uh, I'm going to catch some Z's. What time is it? Sun's gonna be coming up soon. All right, we're gonna catch some Z's while the water's boiling the rest of the way. It shouldn't boil away. But, uh, I hope it won't boil away. It shouldn't boil away. How much more time? I don't think it does boil away. I can't remember if it does or not. 42 minutes, and there's gonna be an extra. Will this boil away? It does, probably. Yeah, we'll kill we'll kill 40 minutes and make sure it doesn't boil away because the water is most important. I guess we could sleep for like 40 minutes, wake up, then get it, and then go from there. If it'll let us. If I sleep for an hour, there's no way all the water's boiled away by then. I can catch one hour. 
No way, it's boiled away by then. What is the lore? Shit sucks, okay? Shit sucks big time. There we go, there it is. Drink it. All of it. All right. Now then. Pick that up. We have spare water in the bottles that we picked up off the ground. So, uh, we're good on that. Good on water. We got 2.67 liters. We've got plenty of water for now. Our weight ain't bad. We're pretty much ready to move on. So I'm gonna go to sleep. So I'm feeling uh, nice and no, the lore for this game. Yeah, both. I carry over whatever I said and it applies to the game too, every time. Me go to sleep for another uh, two hours. No, three hours. Go sleep for another three. We don't have that much time. I should have turned off my fucking lamp lantern. It's okay, I have an oil thing. We have a, we have a whole can of oil still. We're gonna find more in the way. RIP fuel! Yeah, I just said it. <laughs> Quiet, you. It's fine. Let's get a move on and just hope that it's not, uh, you know, a horrible storm today. We'll also drink some uh, cold tomato soup. We're gonna smash it open with our bare hands and drink some tomato soup cold. Yes. Time to get a move on. Hope the weather's good, cause we need the weather to be good. All right. Let's get the hell out of here, chat. Not much reason to stay. I already know where our next destination is. Keep our gun out. We might need it. We have six days, 16 hours, and 24 minutes until the end. Understand? We are gonna follow this railway all the way to the Hydro Dam, where we will loot it. Ideally before the sun sets. There's a couple pit stops we're going to make, but every pit stop we make ideally is going to be in Pleasant Valley. The most dangerous part of this trip is the climb up the mountain, up Timberwolf Mountain to get the flare gun. I play so much Interloper in this game. Interloper is definitely the best one to play in this game, but since it's a challenge, you can't set the difficulty or I would play on Interloper because I think it's the most fun to be constantly fucked, but uh, I don't have a choice for the challenge. I'm just gonna keep this gun armed. Okay, ideally we keep all these bullets for Timberwolf Mountain because coincidentally, chat, Timberwolf Mountain does probably have timber wolves that will want to kill me. Coincidentally. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but the odds are high that there may be Timberwolves on Timberwolf Mountain. Now there is a pit stop we're going to make. There's one more pit stop we're gonna make before we leave this zone, okay? There's just one pit stop and it's right over these tree lines. I know this map pretty well. Uh, this is one of the ones I know better than the others because it's been out the longest. There should be a camp over this tree line for loggers. We're gonna use it. We're gonna try to get some extra clothes there. And then we're leaving. Beware of timber humans. Thank you. Good shout. So, uh, how you all been since the apocalypse happened? Don't answer. I know the answer is bad. How could it be good? If it was good, I'd be concerned and worried letting you follow me around. Called it dead. Uh-oh. Damn, you guys are kind of fucking lame, dude. That's really lame. Or that's all you have to say in these trying times.
frozen long pork is good eating, brother. He would say something like that. Propane, chat. Propane, nice. Powerful. Propane. Let's grab these fire logs. We don't want the rose nips. Let's get in there. Nice and well lit. This How much really oil does have in it? Until we're overweight, we might as well get as much oil as possible for these lanterns. Tin of coffee, that's really good. Coffee's gonna help us out a lot in this challenge. Anything that gives us energy when we drink it is gonna be good for us because we want to be moving. We're gonna warm up while we're in here, looting all these places, and that's, that's good. That's really good. No point bringing books with us unless we're trying to use it for fire. Flares are better, that means we can travel at night. Which we're gonna need. We need to maximize everything we do, chat. Everything. Put on the hat in a minute. I'm just gonna head over to the next cabin in line. We wanna maximize everything. More soda. We drink soda. It, and it gives us calories and water. It's actually more healthy for us. Did you know that? Flashlight. That'll come in handy. Really? Does it work? LOL, man. <laughs> of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. That'd be too easy. Herbal tea. I don't want peaceful rest, but I will take it for now until I'm overweight. And then we're, that's the first thing we get rid of. There it is. Can opener, perfect. We will use the can opener. I can promise you of that. Let's get that hat on, since my ears are all exposed. Nice and warm, toasty, and a thick wool sweater. Which is probably better than the decent sweatshirt. Ironic that it isn't, mainly because this is a poor condition one. Uh, we could repair it, but I'd rather not do it when I'm supposed to be traveling. We only have limited time during the day, so we're going to carry it with us, and we'll repair it when we're next stopping to, like, sleep and warm up. Because I am not planning on resting until we get into the dam. Even though I'm only using a little bit of this time to warm up right now. But I will crack open a lovely bar of delicious nuts and stuff to fill up some calories and ditch some weight because we're getting close to our weight limit. So we're gonna snack on some calories. All right. We're hanging on to the flashlight delusionally, imagining that maybe one day we'll see a fucking, you know, battery. It's not gonna happen, but I can dream. I can hope. Let's move. We're gonna be cold on the trip to the uh, dam. We're probably gonna over cold ourselves and get high, maybe high, like reach the hypothermia limit, but we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Fuck! I can't hear anything. I thought you couldn't shoot unless you aim down sights in this game. I'm unequipping the gun now. Ow, my leg. You'll be fucking fine. You should be more concerned about your ears and the permanent, Could be good to drink. you know, uh, hearing damage that you just sustained. Dog food. You know I'm eating that right now. You know I have to eat that right now. Drop the can. The hell is that? Just eat, eat the banged up tomato soup. My streamer eats dog food. No, you eat the dog food. I eat the can of soup to survive. I eat the soup. Okay. Let's move. Yeah, we're done here. All right, Chet. We are going to the dam. What have we here? We're not gonna have time to fish. I'm sorry, this is not a fishing game. How much weight do I have? 28, eight, six. How much wood do I have? Four. We don't need more reclaimed wood. We have plenty to do what I gotta do. We'll be fine. We'll make it.
We shouldn't need to get any heat until we get to the dam. Which is due this way. It's actually a straight line back over the hill and over. We're gonna be okay, chat. Now some of you are already starting to believe that we can't escape this land. Some of you are getting a little chilly and just saying, ooh, maybe we just slow down. Maybe we slow down for a minute. I don't think we can, I don't think I want to go any further. I'm cold. And we're going to have to leave them behind. So if someone's saying that, be honest, raise your hand and we will leave them behind. Is that a pack of fucking wolves? Okay, good news is we can go right around them by going any other way, which is what we're going to do. And good news is we also have a gun. I'd like to see them try. See, this is the best, this right here in my hand is the best way to break the morale of wolves. It's hard to sustain any sort of pack logic when the pack leader gets his brain splattered all over the goddamn wall. You dare! Don't. I definitely fucking shot him, but I guess it doesn't, I guess it didn't care. Uh, I absolutely, did we all just saw me shoot him, right? That was 100% a shot. It's fine, I have bandages and painkillers, but that is a little annoying. He's even fucking screaming as if he got fucking... Hang on, I gotta take painkillers. Come on. Wait, that was the wrong thing. Fucking... Deal with it once we get out of here. I need to get to the dead. Which I think I might actually have to deal with it now. Antiseptic. Get the arm taken care of. And... I'm also going to need bandages on the wolf bite. Blood loss. blood loss is dealt with. What else do I have on me? Sprained pain. He's got this dog is gonna come back. Or he might not. I just need to get to the fucking dam. And then I'll be able to like take it easy because nothing's in there. We're not that far away from it. Wolf ignored it because adrenaline. I guess I will shoot them more aggressively from a larger range next time. Still better than dealing with eight of them. Uh, it's annoying that they sprained my ankle because now I am uh, moving slower. But that should help a little bit with that. I don't know if, do I, is sprained ankle also painkillers, Chet? Because the dam's not far, but this kind of... What's sprained ankle? Is that bandages? Okay, sprained ankle's bandages. I just need to deal with it so I can get my stamina back, so I can move. Because uh, I will die of freezing if I'm walking to the place. It's right there. It, the exit's right there, and then we're relatively safe in the dam for part two of the trip. It's just we don't have time to, like, turn back. So it's like I kind of need to move even if I'm injured. We don't really have... Ooh, that's a dead body. Some guy that didn't have painkillers, I'm guessing. Kind of pathetic. Imagine not constantly moving forward. I need more ammo before I get to the wolf mountain. I see chat, you wanna know why it got to me? I had a moment of judgment lapse where I thought to myself, I should use a flare before I start shooting bullets. Uh, and that was my mistake, is that then I had a second thought where I was like, I should save the flare for the mountain, where there's going to be more wolves. And then I choked, and then he bit my face off. You could see the moment it happened, because when he started coming after me, I like tried to look and see where my flare gun, like where the flare was. More wool mittens. Look, we're gonna be fine, uh, but I will check my stats now. Hypothermia risk is the only thing we're dealing with right now. That's fine. That's fine. That's actually the most fine thing possible. Hat, more this. disinfected. That's good. We used uh, some of our medical supplies back there. Yes. Yes. Yes! Become even warmer. Even yet more warm. Drop that. They're sort of wet. I don't want those. Where are these two? There we go. Now, the warmth is finally setting in. After all this time, I have become use this. warm. Don't want that. All right, Chet. We're moving on. 
Toasty boy POV. We need so many clothes, chat, all right? Good news is, this is the last encounter we're gonna have with wolves until the mountain, which will be the worst encounter we have with wolves. Now, bears. Bears is going to be more problematic. But we may never see bears. Or meese. We may run into meese. More socks. Sports okay, socks, they might be better than my socks. We'll check. I don't I don't predict them to be. No. They're ragged, they're not even good. I do not need more simple tool. What the heck is that? Baseball cap. Don't need it. Water bottle. I'm gonna drink all this. And I'm gonna grab this orange soda. All right, chat. We're moving on. As soon as we grab whatever's in the first aid kit. There we go. Uh, we don't need all of this. So we're gonna drop that one, which will keep me from spraining my ankle. We are officially almost six days in. We're going into the hydro dam. We will rest there. We are not doing pleasant we may actually try to push through to Pleasant Valley all in one day. We'll see how my stats are doing. The more time we... Is there going to be wolves in here? I swear to fucking God, I'm not taking any chances anymore. I will gun down anything I fucking see with incredible, decisive action. Dude, I'm not playing around anymore. Oh my God. That deer's body is ravaged. Storm's coming in, but that's good for me because, dude, fuck, uh, yeah, right there, fuck yeah, right there. Let's get in, let's get into the dam. Hello? Anyone? All right. All right, it's quiet. No one for miles. Everyone's dead or dying. So keep the lamp burning. Jerry can full of fuel for oil lamps. It's a lot that would let us use it basically forever. Uh, I'm carrying multiple of these, aren't I? Yeah, drop that one for sure, for sure. We're probably not going to need that much fuel. Ever. But I can also say I probably don't need rifle ammo. There's a lot of things I don't need that I'm going to be getting rid of in a couple of moments. And we're also going to be starting a fire soon, which will down... That'll get rid of some of my weight. So we could probably just take it for now. We also don't need these cans. We have a lot of wood, but that's because we are genuinely about to light a fire and hunker down for the night. We'll take it for now. I can't imagine myself spraining my ankle during, like... The fucking indoor walk I'm doing. Summit soda. We're actually gonna drink this summit soda. No, 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 no. We're gonna drink this right out of the box. Oh, I can't drink it out of the box. I'm just gonna drink it and toss it back on the ground. Because these provide calories. So if I'm not bringing them with me, I might as well drink them. Okay. So what's the lord of this game? Everyone keeps like asking that. The, the world is, it's over. Life is over. It's cold. It's fucking cold. The world is over, man. You're all likely dead. The only one who ever had a chance of surviving was me. Tomato laming. Professional survivor. No one surprised. Not one. Could end up being useful. Worst condition than the last. Not useful at all. Jerky. Fleece mittens. Don't need them. There's only one thing I'm looking for, and it's a pry bar. Ragged gauntlets, I'll be taking those, actually. I don't need the charcoal, but we can... No, we're gonna immediately drop that charcoal. That was an accidental pickup. Drap. We're also gonna ditch this. It's a pound. 
that we do not need that. We're going to start ditching some of the, we're carrying some garbage I don't need. We also, ooh, the gauntlets are really good at protection and more protection from the elements. We're in lower condition though. I'll repair them tonight and ditch the old ones. We're going to repair those tonight while we're here. And we're going to keep hoping that I don't suddenly break my fucking legs, yeah? Water purification, huge. Emergency stim, fucking gigantic for this. And a pry bar, which is what I wanted. Mm. Yeah. I don't imagine I'm going to find a rifle, so I'm not really sure taking all this rifle ammo is worth it. But if I do somehow on the way up, that'll be big for dealing with the wolves. There's not much point in continuing to uh, loot these areas. We don't really have the time. We need to maximize our journeys. So uh, we're gonna keep moving. I don't like this, because we've got that jerry can right now. Only thing I'm looking for right now in medical things is more of those stims. Uh, we just made- there it is. We're gonna take the stims, because that means if it comes down to it, I can chain them together like a fucking drug addict. Probably die in the oh, process. Still eat this. But, but, I will also, you know, be able to move really quickly for a minute, which will be cool. Same with flares. Flares were so we can travel at night. Lantern fuel. Wow, I really just don't need the jerry can, huh? How, do I, I have an actual thing of lantern fuel as well already. I don't need this. There's things we definitely don't need, and I just need to be more willing to just drop things I don't need. We have very few lantern fuel. I just don't think I'm going to need a whole fucking three pound jerry can. If that makes sense. I think I might just ditch it because it's too heavy. Hang on, sort by weight. I definitely don't think I need the jerry can. Yeah, it's too, that's so much fuel. Uh, but I'm guessing it's one to one. Mm, we just won't carry any other fuel. Actually, matter of fact, it might be lighter than carrying all the other individual fuels around. Drop water, drink jerry can. True. True. Why didn't I think of it before? That's intelligent. That's incredibly intelligent. I definitely don't need a snare. What's that sound? Hello? Who's out there? Something was jostling. Let's... Okay, let's just keep moving, all right? We gotta find a place to relax for the night. Something weird's happening in this place. I don't much... I'm gonna pry this open. Any good clothes we can find is still gonna be great. Water bottle, water bottle, don't need it. We have a lot of potable water already. Don't need it. Crack this one open. We're looking for clothes. The odds of it is somewhat slim. All right. That might be better than something I have already. Probably. Significantly better. Yeah, wear that. Get rid of the old one. Yep. Move it on. All right. We're gonna get to the exit of this place and sleep there. I can traverse the next part of this map without sunlight. I don't need it. So we're gonna sleep when we get there. To the other side of the dam. We're not gonna need it. Actually, although if I remember correctly, the other side of this dam is a cave I could absolutely sleep in. If I move fast enough. This exit's blocked, right? You can't just leave this way? Yeah, no, you can't leave this way. I believe it's caves. Now, there might be a wild animal in the cave, like a bear or a wolf or a moose. Moose living in caves now. Ever since the apocalypse happened, the moose just live in caves. They like caves. It's documented that they like caves. Let's get out of here. 
lower dam. We're gonna loot this area, and then we're getting the hell out of here. Matches. This will come in. More matches is just a solid idea. They don't weigh that much. However, I do need to ditch some of my weight. But I'm gonna lose some by eating a bunch right now. I'm gonna lose all of my calories by just scarfing on a bunch of food before I go. I'm going to fucking slam some food. Like, you're gonna think it's disgusting how much food I'm about to eat. Because I'm gonna just slam a bunch of cans of stuff to get it out of my, get out of my inventory. Like, you're gonna start fucking feeling, you're gonna feel like you're gonna hurl. We don't need anything from here. Torch, I don't need that. The only reason I've kept this lantern lit so long is because I actually want to get rid of some of the fuel in that jerry can. Just for the record. We're deliberately trying to... Either wool scarf. Will come in handy. See if it's better than the hat I'm wearing. No. Get that out of my inventory. It's not better than the other scarf either. Alright, Jack. Ooh, a backpack. No Worn wool anymore. mittens. Leave them decent hoodie. This could actually be an upgrade. Maybe. Maybe. Compared to like the sweatshirt. Worse. This one, I'm assuming if I improve its condition, will improve. So that's planning on repairing that, which is the only reason I'm still carrying it around. All right. We're gonna check what's in these lockers, and then we are going to descend the dam. Could end up being useful. We're gonna do it today. More lantern fuel. I don't need more lantern fuel. We have to be conservative with what we carry around with us. One last check. What is this? Salty crackers. Eat these. <laughs> Eat the crackers. We, we, it'll dehydrate us, which means we can use some more of our water like that, which will get us get rid of more of our weight. It's all coming together, chat, the exact way I want it. All right. Looking good. Let's get to the exit and get out of here. I'm pretty sure we got backtracked to do that, but it was worth it for the crackers. And the flare. Which means technically we have enough flares I could totally travel at night for this, I think. What's up? How are we doing on time? Six days. We still... I want to be in Pleasant Valley by the six-day mark. Or, uh... I'm gonna panic. And then I'm gonna do something ridiculous. And probably one of you is going to die. Because I'll, like, do... I'll go, like, crazy and take a swing at one of you. Whip my... Whip my revolver around, like, fire it into the crowd. Because I think one of you is, like, a psycho and is trying to get me. I dodge, you don't dodge. I'm the DM and I say you don't dodge. We're leaving. I'm gonna take a look outside at what the weather's like and then I'm gonna decide our plan. Cause if the weather sucks, I'm not going right now. Only kinda bad actually. Oh yeah, I forgot we have to go in the other way. Uh, how's my stamina? Not bad yet. My energy drink, does my stamina go up? It should. If I drink this. No, it doesn't. Uh, you'd think the sugar would wake me up a little bit. I'm down to move now and plan on resting in the, uh, the cave. I think I can make that trip. It's not that long. This map isn't that big, this one. I think we can afford to make the trip even a little overweight. We have the bandages to repair our sprained ankle if we sprain it as well. And then we can take it easy there. We'll rest. We'll rest once we get there. Everyone just shut the fuck up. 
about being tired and being cold, all right? We're all a little cold. This is almost warm being in this little crevasse. You should be thanking me, all right? Help me carry some of this trash I have. We need all of it to survive. We're going to need all of it. I'm hungry. No, you're not. You're sleeping. I want to sleep. No, you don't. You want to keep walking. That's a fucking dog. I'm not taking any chances. If I see a dog, gun comes out. After that last one bit me and maimed me in front of everyone. If they so much as even step another step towards me, I fire at them. Please don't break and kill me. And you stay the fuck away from me. That rabbit's fucking dead. <laughs> Better him than us. Let's get the fuck out of here. He's going to be eating that thing for weeks. Did you hear that thing scream? <laughs> Could have been us. You would have screamed just like that too. He sat, that rabbit sacrificed himself so that we may live, chat. Don't you ever forget that. I don't think the dog is following. As long as we don't run, I'm pretty sure the sprain risk is very low, for the record. And also, I don't want to run because I'm afraid the ice is going to break beneath me and fucking actually for sure kill us. Was that the sound of a bear growling or was that my guy moaning? Oh, I do need... I wouldn't mind getting some food. No. Oh, the rabbit knows. The rabbit knows. All right, we'll get one that's less aware of the fact that I wouldn't mind having some rabbit food to eat in the cave. I've been living off of saltines, dude. I don't fucking remember which one of these ways is the cave. I think it's this way. No, it freaking isn't. One of these two forks is the way to the cave, and the other one is a dead end that's super obvious in about two seconds. I think I took the right path. Well, 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 looks like old Tomato Gaming done did it again, chat. Master Navigator. Master Navigator. We should see a cave coming up any second now. I swear to God, I heard the sound of a wolf. Some kind of wolf behind us. Wouldn't be surprised if we get jumped any second now by a fucking, like, dog. Thinking they're big shit. They die. They die. Please, just one cracker. I'm so hungry. You'll stay hungry because you know what hunger gets you? Desperation. And you know what desperation gets you? Fucking drive to do what has to be done. Damn it. You're gonna stay hungry. You're gonna stay just barely on the edge of life and death. All of us are. And then, when some of you die, we're gonna eat you. Yeah, yeah, long pork. Here we are at the cave. Most of you probably didn't think we'd ever make it this far. This'll lead us to Pleasant Valley. Now, you should be aware that sometimes bears and moose hide out in these caves and feast on passersby. Case in point. We're taking that fur firewood because we're gonna light it. Case in point. Double case in point. <laughs> Double omega case in point. Is it food? Or? Sardines. We're taking those. We're gonna eat those at the camp. We're gonna set. We're gonna make a campfire out here. This is gonna be a stopping point soon where we're gonna rest and get our stamina back. Okay. Don't worry, chat. We're gonna live. We will live! 
well, most of us, the vast majority will live, a couple will die because they don't have what it takes to survive in cold climates. But I, as a man who's grown up on the northern east coast, will certainly be fine. I cannot speak for the rest of you. Some of you have weak bodies and weak minds. This will be where we rest for the evening. It's a fireplace already pre-made for us. And there's plenty of wood to use. Start a fire. Everyone join me in prayer. Some of you might need to pray more than others because you're going to die soon. You're going to die in this cave. So maybe pray extra hard. Pray extra hard so that maybe God will save you. Maybe someone. Good. Turned out pretty well. That turned out very well. We could add fuel to the fire. Specifically the heaviest stuff we have. All right. We're also going to go ahead and cook up. Some lovely coffee. Oh, did you think we were actually going to sleep here? It's still daytime, baby. No. I wonder if this is any good to eat. She's making coffee. <laughs> we don't sleep until Pleasant Valley, chat. No one sleeps till Pleasant Valley. I want to see the goddamn entrance to the Wolf Mountain before anyone gets any sleep. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you? The hell's my fucking lantern? Yes, you guys don't know. You guys just acting a little fucking ridiculous for a while. All right, I just want you to know that, you know, the ones that act the most ridiculous, they're the ones that make it the longest. And the people that aren't acting ridiculous yet, you're the ones that aren't gonna make it. Okay, we're not sleeping for another five days. That's why we got these stims, okay? <laughs> that's why we got all these, that's why we got these stims. Okay. Bottoms up, is what I would say if I wasn't making multiple cups. <laughs> We're gonna make more coffee. We're making more than one cup of coffee. Now? Okay. I'm gonna try to repair that fucking sweater. I need cloth. Well, it was a shame what happened to the sweater, but there's nothing we could do. My coffee's burning, but that's fine. And now, I'm going to make one more cup of coffee. Oh yes, Chad. Oh yes. It doesn't matter if it's hot or cold. We're gonna chug them all and we're gonna get halfway to the next destination. Cause you see, Chat, we are gonna spawn on the wrong side of Pleasant Valley. Okay? We're gonna spawn on the wrong side of it. We're miles away from where we need to go. We're gonna make it. We're gonna eat some pork and beans. We're saving the dog food for a rainy day. Eat our pork and beans. We're gonna fill up. Okay. We drink some soda too. Some of you. Some of you. I can't tell by the way you're acting. Okay, by the by your behavior, that you just don't understand. I chug the coffee. I'm feeling wide awake now. My warmth is good. We are moving on. Everyone say bye-bye to the fire. Say bye-bye. Cause we ain't ever, never going back there. Okay, we're gonna be going back, but that's only because I collected firewood while I was here. By the time it's the by the time the 6D switches to 5D, 
We'll be at the... We'll be halfway through Pleasant Valley, Jack. Hang on, scary music started playing. Give me a second. Okay, I think a moose just came into the cave. Uh, someone run ahead. You, you, I point to one of you. You go forward, go ahead. Tell me what you see. There wasn't a moose. I also sent them down a dead end path. Chat. They spilled some of the coffee. Wait. Oh my god. That would have been bad. I forgot it doesn't automatically pick, st pick it up when you stop cooking. That would have been dark and none of you fucking said a word because you don't want us to live. Because you don't want to succeed. You want to die. It's fine, I get it. I get it. You, you want to die out here. You want to die. You want to die. You want to die. That's why you say these things, because you want to die. It's fine. It's fine. You will die. <laughs> you are going to die. Someday. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe to a pack of wolves at the peak of Timberwolf Mountain as I run away with a flare gun in my hand. Maybe. Just maybe. 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 Can I have some coffee? Shut up! <laughs> you couldn't handle this kind of brew. I know you. I saw the way you used to put creamer in your coffee. It was more creamer than coffee. You couldn't handle this. Not in a million years. We don't have milk. We don't have any creamer for you. You wouldn't like it. Here we are, Pleasant Valley. We are going to head do this away. Fucking cannot get down this hill. At all. My streamer can't get down the hill to enter Pleasant Valley. My streamer can't ascend this small hill. Ah! Got it. I need to get a running start. Okay, chat. Ah! Ow, fuck! That's your fault. That's your fault. Beautiful elk. We're not getting involved in it. Normally I would go up the mountain. I'm gonna follow a very specific path to get to where I wanna go. Okay? Hello? Something's making creaking sounds and it ain't me. Something was making creaking sounds and it wasn't me. We're gonna follow the river. I don't wanna get lost. And coming in from this way, I'm not used to the layout of this place. I know an idea of where I'm going, but we are where I'm going, but we are officially going off the map chat. I don't know the layout. I don't know where I'm going from this point forward. Okay? I know the names of the places I wanna be, I know a general direction. But evidently something came through here already. And it's big. Too big. Can we stop at McDonald's? Yeah, if we have time. Does anyone have money? I think I need to lay down. Shut the fuck up. You drank coffee. Dude, I don't say that every single time. I get sleepy, which is always. Okay? Shut up. <laughs> we got another five to ten hours of walking to go today. It's time to drink another cup of coffee. <laughs> Drink the second cup. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Shut up and keep drinking coffee. We're gonna be following the river here. If we follow it for long enough, we'll eventually see a, a fucking farm. Like a barn we can sleep in. We'll see a bridge on the road. 
This guy is gonna be shitting like a trooper. That's fine. Chat. If we shit a bunch, that's less weight to slow us down. We got a lot of climbing to do. Gravity is gonna be tearing us down every step of the way. Shitting is exactly what we want. <laughs> we need to offload some of our calories before it's too late. Yeah, I'm spraining my ankle here, but that's a that's a choice for the build. Spraining my ankle is actually meta for my character. Bear won't chase if you just shit a lot. True. True. The bear officially will not chase you if you shit. A lot. What is this map? What's happening here? I'm gonna have to go around that, that rock over there. Look, looking around trying to find the way it wanted me to go. There's like a big rock here. I need to get around this. Needless to say, I did not take- What I've been doing so far is the easy part, because I traced this whole way for the bear challenge, basically. Minus one pit stop over there. But, uh, I haven't been sprinting specifically because I want to save, uh, my eyeball bar. And also, I don't want to sprain my ankle, because I'm overweight. And I'll probably remain overweight until we get to the mountain. Where I will offload a bunch of shit I don't need, because we'll have to double back on the mountain. I know that for a fact. Can't see nothing, but I know which way I'm going. God, I hope there's food. I hope for your sake there's food. I hope for all of your sakes that we run into some food soon. I have food, give it. I put my hand out. Need to find some place to escape this cold. Gimme. Gimme now. I'm hungry. No. I push you. You stumble. You fall. You start rolling down the hill. You hit the ice. It breaks. You're under the ice. You, someone, someone tries to stop me. I pull out a bottle, a spray bottle of water, and I spray you in the face with it. It freezes over your face in an instant. I keep spraying it at you. At you over and over again. You stumble and fall into a wall of rocks. The last thing you hear as you freeze in a grim ice sculpture in the middle of the path is chill out. It was me all along. I was Mr. Freeze. It was me. I say chill out and then you die. <laughs> it was all leading up to this baby. It was always, ooh. Yo. I'm willing to pit stop in the middle of all this to put that on. It's definitely like the best gloves in the game. Okay, so we've made it to the bridge, which means my destination should be just over this hill. And we're gonna stop at this small little hovel before we get there. There should be a big ass fucking house over here, right over that hill. Unless I'm lost. If I'm lost, God have mercy on all of us. But the only thing I can't get confused about is that that right there is Timberwolf Mountain. We're going there regardless. Oh, I gotta drink my last cup of coffee. Just one more cup of coffee. <laughs> Just I need to get to the destination, the final destination of the map. Just one more cup of coffee. 
Let's loot this building. Nice cold coffee. We're not gonna freeze. We're pit stopping. You're not gonna freeze. But some of you are going to die. Yes, some. See, we're not gonna freeze because we're gonna take a slight pit stop here because we got a bunch of fire we can use. Small pit stop. And if it doesn't light, then we're leaving and you don't get any warmer. Sorry. Sorry. Lucky day for you. That'll come in handy. But it isn't where we're resting today. It ain't gonna be the end stopping point. We do need to make sure when we stop at the next place that we get something to, uh, some kindling. Revolver, bullet, more accelerant. We here? All the accelerant is huge, by the way. Man, we're getting lucky on accelerant. We want all of that. Every bit of accelerant we can get, we want. Uh, but we're not planning on doing much here, but like really basic warming up. We just want to warm up a little bit, not too much. We are going to eat this stale granola bar. Yes. We're going to warm up. What time? The sun's going to be setting soon, and that's good. We've managed to time everything perfectly. We've got loads of beans. We're going to warm up at the fire till it's about at a third of warmth. And then we're just going to follow the path down. Where we will see a gigantic Omega Barn. Which will be... Our hiding spot for the night. And then... We have to find the way up to Timberwolf Mountain. Which is... Uh... Going to take probably an entire day. <laughs> If I'm being honest, that would probably be day five is going to be me scouring a wall, trying to find the exit to Timberwolf Mountain because I only know the direction. I don't know the actual geometry of the map beyond what I've done in the bear challenge. Is this a normal house in Massachusetts? That's fucking actually really toxic. Lame. Shame that guy. For being so mean. Shame him. Everyone shame him now. Shame. 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 Why do you always try to bring everyone down when you could instead try to bring them up? Because of you, I'm taking us all back into the cold. Get fucked. Sun hasn't set yet. We still have time to get a couple more hours of travel in. See that building over there? That's where we're sleeping tonight. That beautiful building by the barn. An, with an actual house. We're gonna, we're gonna rest there. We're gonna leave some things there because we're also gonna swing by here after we're done on Death Mountain. Wait, hang on, let me try that. After we're done on, on Death Mountain. Sorry, the first one was a little quiet. Failed sound bit? It's never failed. I don't make mistakes. Let's hope they have more coffee here, though, because coffee basically carried us through this entire day. My guy hasn't slept in forever. Uh. Can't feel my hands. Shut up. Hello? Let's check what's in this car. This is the last place we're going to be looting for a while. So we want to make sure we're good on everything. We're going to want to make sure we're good on everything, because once we get to Timberwolf Mountain, we are officially off the grid, chat. We're not going to check the interior of the car. There's never anything on the inside. This newspaper newspaper counts as stuff to start fires with. That's, that's kindling. Take that. I'm going to check inside. There's almost never anything in these things, though. Matches. I don't need more matches. We're completely good on matches. Nothing. 
Yeah, all right, home sweet home, and just as my coffee wears out, and I start freezing to death. Welcome, everyone, to base camp for day six. Never felt so cold. After this chat, we don't sleep again until we have the goddamn flare gun. So make tonight count. Pick a spot in this building you like. All right, and get to sleep. No one sleeps after this until we finish our climb up the mountain. No one. Nobody. I might not even be lighting a fire tonight. A note left behind. Bread is about two parts flour to one part water. Add equal parts salt and rising agent. A raw pile about the size, a small pile about the size of a quarter. Yeast, if you're lucky, baking soda, if you're not. Raw dough should be tacky, but not wet after kneading. Eat at 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius for 30 minutes if the oven works. If you only have a fire, drop the dough in a heavy preheated pan and rotate every 10 minutes until evenly brown. And your hollow sound would tap in the crust. Backer 3781. The last thing you left for us was his water, which I drank, and his maple syrup. Wait, yo, yeah. actually, yo, actually! I look around to my left and right. We're gonna need that for the trip up. That'll sustain us for a thousand years. Huge. There's a moldy, raw rainbow trout. We're not eating that one. No one touch that. For real, no one touch that. Canadian gold. I didn't say to extinguish this. Chad, I got a good feeling. We also, the point of this trip, this stop here is also because we this. need to heal uh, before we go up. We need to heal, which means we need to sleep. Turlet, turlet. Energy bar. We can start. We're gonna start eating a bunch of stuff too. We're not going to be getting more water once we're up there. So we are gonna be cooking some water. Is toilet water naturally drinkable by default? <laughs> Believe it or not, yes. You in fact do not need. You don't need to do anything to this water. This is drinkable already. It's like tap. That is fucking vile. We're gonna loot the rest of this place and then we're gonna sleep the entire night. Like we're gonna we're gonna repair some things and we're gonna sleep. We don't need to make a fire. Dusting sulfur. I don't think I want dusting sulfur. Don't think that's going to be necessary for anything I do today. Sewing kit. Come in handy. We will be repairing some things. Uh, we don't need more antibiotics because we already have, I believe, an entire bottle and a half. Work gloves, not gonna be an upgrade. There's only a couple things that would be good right now. If we found a hatchet, that would be slapping. If we miraculously found one, that would be slapping. This will come in handy. Maybe better, not better. Go energy drink, fucking gigantic. Actually gigantic, that's Omega Coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Omega Coffee. Bad. Tinder plugs would be good too. Clothes? Clothes? I think Plaid I shirt, this. maybe? None of these are gonna be better than what I have. But I am gonna tear them up for bandages before we leave. Actually, this one is. That's only because it's very slightly like the exact same thing. It's like barely better. We're gonna be tearing up the others. That'll come in handy. God, we got a lot of clothes we gotta tear up. And then I'm gonna repair them and then I'm gonna drop like everything. Uh, because I want all my clothes like repaired before I climb. In case the worst happens. In case we freaking die. I'm not carrying the socks though. The socks can fuck off. Quality tools. 
could end up being useful. I'm gonna take these, but only because I'm planning on dropping the simple tools. Now we're gonna make some tinder plugs. Time to do some crafting. We're gonna leave our lantern on because we're trying to burn some of the fuel of it because we have like five full refills of it. But we're gonna turn all this into uh, tinder. Sticks are easy to come by. We're gonna bring it all down in the plugs. Grape soda. All right. Let's check these work boots. They might be better. They are, they are fucking, if we repaired them? No, they're not. They're just not. All right, we're gonna do a bunch of repairing now. We're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna do some repairing. And then, we move on without sleeping, of course. I lied to you, we're not sleeping. We live off of coffee until we die. We'll die here before we sleep. Sleeping, sleep is the enemy. Chad, sleep is, Chad, sleep's the enemy. Chat, sleep is the enemy. That's what the game wants us to do. The game wants us to sleep. That's what they want us to do. They want us to sleep, chat. They want us to sleep, but I'll give you something better than sleep. I'll give you something nobody else can tell you. You all better watch your backs. What have we here? Just like those wolves better watch their backs, Chad. Just like those wolves better watch their goddamn back if they know what's good for them. Everyone better know that they gotta watch their backs. Okay. Everybody. All right, y'all, I'm gonna be going to sleep. Uh, don't bother me, don't dare wake me up, don't you dare do anything of the sort. Okay. I'm packing. And I'm packing a lot. Okay, ketchup chips. Who would eat those? That's disgusting. Oscar-worthy nomination. Perf yeah, I mean, I... Look, I, Chad, I don't know what to say. Aside from that reminded me when I said who would eat those, I just remembered that I need to order food. Uh, so give me one second. Uh, don't speak though. Uh, you're gonna distract me while I'm ordering my food. Uh, dude, I'm feeling like, I saw I said don't speak. The bell tolls. No, 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 no. I'll actually be fine. It's only seven. I got some time. Let me check these drawers. You can talk again, it's fine, no one panic. Feels like something is sapping my energy. It's the fact that you're incredibly overweight, sir, because I haven't given you sleep, and you're already just naturally also overweight. But shut up. You got any fucking adrenaline stims in here? You got any EpiPens around? I want some epinephrine straight into my goddamn veins. Now. I need it. I need it. Someone keeps knocking on the doors and windows of this building. You guys go out and check what that is. I'm going to do some repairing of my clothing. If they ask for me, shoot them. All right, worn jeans, 54%, good. Anything that's at 25% we want to try to repair. We're also going to harvest those clothes. Takes about 10 minutes to do it. We're going to help ourselves. To all the spare shirts we've been carrying around. In an attempt to get some extra cloth. 
Is it thin wool sweater? That's actually an upgrade. Although this one has better protection from wind chill significantly and wind is going to be the problem on that mountain. So we are going to keep the other one. No, 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 don't repair this one. Harvest this one for its flesh. We want wind chill protection more so than we want actual cold protection. So all of this is being harvested for clothes. Well, cloth. Can you imagine if we accidentally dismantled our actual clothing by accident? Nope, okay, 98, 61, 88, 63, 32, these gotta be repaired. You can't repair while in the dark. Oh my god, my lantern went out. I can't see where the lantern is to refuel it. The sun set and I never even noticed. Why didn't you notice? Hmm? Loads gone, you wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do something like that. You sent us outside, and that's where you shall remain. <laughs> that's where you will remain. Until I deem you worthy of the warmth inside the building. Thank you. 85, 54, 25, gotta repair these. Fucked it up. I blame you. Fucked it up again. You just keep dropping the ball today. Good. Good. One last thing to repair the undies. We'll repair them in the socks later. All right, I, I've seen your work. I'd gonna... lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Gonna go to sleep in a minute. Okay, just calm down. First though, I'm gonna eat a snack and drink my drink my soda. The dog food. It's time for a treat. Mm. Mm. Time to. It's time for a treat. Time to eat some of these cans. The cans are the heaviest stuff we have. So we're gonna cut up. We're gonna cut these open and eat a bunch of cans of food. To fill up. Two cans. And then we're going to drink a bunch of soda. Which is also heavy. And then we'll ditch all of them. Gonna fill up. And now we're going to drop the cans. Very good. We have a lot of food. We're definitely not going to need all this on the trip up. We also don't need two things of tea. We also didn't end up finding any more coffee. Which is a bummer. But I'm fine being a little overweight on these trips on account of the fact that I don't plan on running. Alright, Jet. We are gonna wake up at... seven hours of sleep. We're gonna get a couple hours. We're actually going to sleep. Properly. That was nowhere near enough for me to feel uh, awake. What? I mean, what do you want from me, chat? Do you want me to fucking... Do you... <laughs> do you, do you... <laughs> like, what do you want from me? Do you want me to fucking die? I, we need to move. We're running out of time already. We'll sleep again when we're dead. Or more specifically, more specifically, probably closer to, uh, to the mountain. Probably just closer to the mountain is when we'll sleep again. Is what makes sense to me. But, I mean, what time is it right? The sun's... Look. Okay. We've got five days. We're fucking leaving. We have energy drinks, and we have stim packs if the energy drinks don't work. We are out of here now! Pack your things! Pack your things, we're leaving! Ditching some of my fucking extra crap I don't need that's also weighing me down. Like, for instance... 
I don't need you. I don't need you. I thought I did, but I didn't. I'm never using tools to repair. My tools! Yeah, well... <laughs> Whatever. I also don't need all of you. I'll never have the... I'll never need that many. But all this food, I need all this. I need this. I need this. I... 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 I need this. I need this. This is my food. I need that. It's all mine. Don't even ask for any. It's all mine. All right. It's a beautiful day for it. And over there is actually not the mountain we're going for. You can tell by the radio tower. That is the wrong mountain. We are going to that mountain. And if anyone fucking dares come after us, Jet, Oh, don't you worry, that's what this mad boy's for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. No one's gonna. No one would dare. All right. No one would dare. Wow, cool, an airsoft gun. You think this is an airsoft gun, boy? You some kind of... You could some kind of nitwit? You some kind of nitwit, son? Yes. You from Stupid Town? Yes. Did you just dox him? <laughs> One town over? Just just drift in? From 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 Idiotville? I can't get up this. This is this this is the most difficult part of the whole game, is like climbing the tiny inclines. Chat, so here's the thing. I don't know. I know I'm going the right way. And the sun is rising on a beautiful day. A beautiful day. Sun's rising, beautiful day. And I, the reason I know I'm going the right way is because the sun rises in the east. We're north, things don't make sense anymore. We're supposed to be going west. <laughs> but okay, there's one thing I do know. And it's that there's a, there's a fucking signal tower the opposite direction and we saw that. Okay. That's how I know I'm going the right way. There's only one signal tower on this map. Breathes heavy. <gasps> it's fine, chat. We have five days and 15 hours. And 49 minutes. Make that 48 minutes. Uh, make that, uh... Make, make that 47 minutes. We're making good time, though. We're making really good time. God help us, though. And God help you, though, if you try to lead me in the wrong direction. I will... I will gun you down. I know I'm going in the right direction, because that's the mountain. Chat, that is literally the mountain. Literal. And I don't use that word lightly. Please, don't break my fucking leg. This is a tiny incline. Can I get down this? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no. We gotta get around a different way. But we're going the right way. I just need to find a better way down this. If we stay close to this, we get uh, wind protection. Which will keep me from getting too cold. 
there's a solid chance we got to light a fire in the middle of the like the valley to warm up at one point. Okay, that's just uh, unfortunately the reality of the situation is that I don't know where there are places to sleep or rest. What I do know is that it's a high chance that the bear cabin you start at the beginning of the bear challenge is quite literally very close to the wolf exit to the mountain. But we're going to stop at that wreckage because that looks like a slope up. If I can get down, that is, if I can actually get there, because apparently, like, there's no way to access this river without taking a gigantic fall. This is going to break my legs. Watch. Watch! I lived. I shouldn't have lived, but I lived. You gotta be kidding me. This is going to break my legs. Cold is making my head feel thick. Shut up. Did you say... Did you say the cold is making my head feel thick? Is this guy from, like, Stupidville too? The cold's making my head feel less wide. Y'all think I can cross this? Please. 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 We did it. Wait, and there's a bridge there. We're going the right way. Oh, no. Where I am! I don't. But if there's bridges, that means the game's intending us to go this way. To get the things. The dev was here. <laughs> dude, the dev of the game was here, dude! He was here! It looks like he didn't like someone. We... You better keep moving. Up the hill. For now. We'll make a fire when our health gets like 50% from hypothermia. That's the rules. Too cold to think. Shut up. I know this mountain is the right way. I know it. Definitely going up this. Look, it's a clearly charted path. This is very clearly chipped out of the map design. Oh yeah. This is a way up a mountain. We're going the right way, Jet. We're going the right way. Dev is short for devil, chat. It's a nice day to freeze to death. Chat, everyone knows part of Long Dark is uh, rationing how cold you can be before you actually have to address your coldness, okay? And I'm officially not so cold as to address my coldness, okay? I've still got plenty more cold time before I should address how cold I am. And that's about five minutes. Oh yeah. This is a precarious bridge of death. You all safe here? Everyone go one at a time. I don't want any pussy. I push a kid that was just trying to pass me on the fucking tree. They fall. I said one at a time. Literal child. The stream was 18 plus chat. I told them they wouldn't have what it takes. It wasn't an exaggeration. Come on. We gotta keep moving now. I know this place. I actually do. And those birds give away a lot of things, chat. This is the start of the bear challenge, which means there's a basement we can warm up in. It's old Skeeter's Ridge. <sighs> All right, I'm not aiming for shit while I'm this cold, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get in this basement before the wolf devours me.
Let's warm up. It's very warm in here. We're back at the start of the bear challenge. Jet. Old Skeeter's Ridge. Let's take a look around. We might be able to get something useful before the fucking mountain. Oh my god, that was a lot of stuff. Hang on, I'm not done. Grab that too. Grab all this stuff. I'm gonna compare the clothing. There's a lot of clothes lying around right now. That's not gonna be something we wear. Fleece mittens. They might be in beat decent condition. No. Simple tools don't need it. Hunting knife. I don't think I'm gonna need it. I don't think I need a hunting knife for anything. We're gonna be surviving basically no exclusively thing. off of uh, stuff like food cans for the whole thing. Even for defense. I have guns. At this point, the logic is if something fucking kills me, I had it coming. Hang on, I'm gonna drop all this reclaimed wood. This is worse than f uh, the other stuff. Drop all of it. And instead, grab the cedar firewood. Okay, so I know I'm heavy as fuck. I know I'm a little big. Okay. I know. We know this. Just shut up about it, okay? You are not thirsty. It's not about thirst, dude. It's about caloric intake. So shut up and eat whatever I goddamn tell you to until you're overweight and disgusting. All right, keep eating. I want you to explode like Mr. Creosote. Or what's the goddamn po I still have two more uses of coffee. I should probably cook this. That'll be for the mountain climb. Okay, let's sort out the clothes because we're very overweight while we're wearing all this. Better socks. Better socks. Drop those ones. Drop those ones. Worst pants. Go. Clothes. Better clothes. Even yet more better clothes. What about you then? Dude, we've just, we are ascending. This is, we're gonna be very warm going into this next part. Now the question is, do I think there's places to sleep in Timberwolf Mountain? Hmm. I need to warm up anyways. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I catch an hour of shut eye. One hour of shut eye. To warm myself up. One hour. My guy definitely slept longer than one hour. He was, that was bullshit. Okay. It's been an hour, we're warm, we're moving on. Can we rest? No, you stay awake. Keep the wolves from coming in. Let's ride. Ride or die. We're officially now in places I don't know. Could be a- Ooh! That's a marine flare. That's better than a normal flare. Our only direction we know of that we need to go is that way. So I'm gonna follow this side. I have a lot of ammo. Okay. The gun will break before I shoot all of it. But um, it just needs to get me through Timberwolf Mountain and then I can use flares for everything else. And I have tons of medical supplies. So really right now, chat, I am feeling very confident going into a place I don't know. I've got a lot of time. Is that a crashed plane? Oh my god. Um. Alright. That's a bad omen. You know, that's called what we call in the business industry a bad fucking omen. To say that you're feeling confident and then a fucking passenger plane is just like smashed into the ground next to you. That's bad. But I can't see any wolves. I don't think any wolves did this. Y'all have a... Uh... Anything in there? They're not gonna need this. That'll come in handy. That is gonna come in handy. That's going to come in a lot of handy.
We will check if any of this stuff can be worn and we'll drop whatever can't. Both downgrades. What about you? These jeans were old. Worn the, the exact same, except this one's more broken. Okay, we're moving on. That, that shell was worth it, but we need to keep moving. R.I.P. whoever was in this plane. Sorry it came down to this. Next time, don't get so cold. Or whatever. I think in lore it was an electromagnetic disaster, which fucked up the poles and also basically nuked every single bit of technology we had, therefore resulting in every plane falling out of the sky like rocks. Uh, so, um... Yeah, they didn't really... The cold wasn't exactly a concern... for them. Either way, I continue this way. I'm gonna keep following this ridge until we find some kind of indent that we might be able to use to get closer to the mountain. That's the plan. That's genuinely all I know going into this. And my guy's getting sleepy. There's gotta be shelter in Timberwolf to sleep in, because we're gonna need to. Oh no. Fuck. The wind's picking up. It's getting cold. Jet. We knew it would. We all knew it would. Quick, all of you, form a defensive wall around me to keep me warm. But don't touch me. Just form a wall to block the wind. I'm not seeing any breaks in the design over there. I think it's up this way. I'm gonna check in here quick. Hunter's blind. We have some cover from the wind in here, Thank which goodness. is good. More soda. We're gonna use that to charge up. I don't want the knife. You know what? I do want the knife. Just in case. Just like in case everything goes wrong, a knife will keep me from getting jumped by bears and everything as quickly. I don't want to run too much because I'm overweight as hell. What about that coffee? I haven't cooked it yet. I may never have another chance to cook it again if we don't get out of this storm. Our only hope now is to keep pushing on. The way of the caribou. Caribou always go towards civilization. Or whatever, reindeer. All right. What would, what would Adelward do? Fly 500 feet into the air and then glide to serve, like safety. I can't do that. All right, that thing's running away from here, which I think means it's bad. I think there's like a bear behind this fucking rock. Or maybe it's exactly what we need. Hypothermia is setting in. Damn, I'm freezing. Not good. Well, if that rope don't look like a way to something. I'm not sure if I'd call this shelter, but that doghouse is looking pretty nice. <laughs> The other one's all ripped up and shit. The doghouse, though. Where's that outhouse? Huh. This might be the best we get to warm up right now. Shelter. Oh, still eat this. This is why we brought the accelerant for stuff like this. All right. Let's warm up. Let's warm up. And cook our coffee.
take a look around while it's cooking. I know that I need to warm up, but I want to just check what's in here quick, because... Damn it, I can't look inside. I can't climb this with the way my fatigue is. If it's up there, we have to sleep uh, before we can go up. So, uh, hope you all enjoy sleeping out in the fucking cold. Because, um... Yeah. This is home base for tonight. Or today. Right next to the toasty fire. As long as we use... We have a lot of firewood around. We've got a lot. We will not... The fire won't go out. Look at that. We've got a ton. We got a ton out of this. We will be good. Unless a fucking... Horrible, horrible nightmare happens. Like, for instance, um... A fucking blizzard. But I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna go to the bathroom while it's cooking. And then we will uh, hope that a bear doesn't fucking sneak in and get me while I'm going to the bathroom. And then we will probably sleep and get our fatigue up to full and go up at night. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back! Did anything happen? The coffee's gonna burn, we had plenty of time. We also have plenty of water. Is there anything I'd want to cook very badly? Let's cook up some pork and beans. Our character might like that. We'll cook this quick and then we'll go to sleep. 14 minutes until ready. We're going to want to add more firewood. We have a lot of it anyways. And this will also warm it up more. We're not going to want to carry up fucking five firewood logs. Once this is done, chat, we're going to get our stamina up. And, well, we're going to we're gonna go up there. And the only thing I know about that place is that the flare is at the very fucking top. Bet, will tomato make it? <laughs> of course I'm gonna make it. Question is, will I get fucking lost? Will I get fucking lost? and bumble around for a while. That's higher. Yeah, we can make a bet to see if I survive the whole thing. I don't care. So we got four uh, liters of water and a shit ton of soda still. We're gonna drink some of the water. And then we're gonna go to sleep. For as many hours as this fire will remain. Eight hours, we'll sleep for seven. And see how... We'll sleep for five and see how stuff's looking. How are you carrying all this shit? Uh, desperation. Sun's still up. Good. We want to go while the sun is up, honestly. And I am going to drop a bunch right now. We're not bringing everything up there. There's only one entrance in and out of this area. I know that for a fact. At least to get down the way I need to go. So, we are going to leave quite a few things on the ground here. Because the intention is that we're not going to be up here forever. So, uh, we're going to drop some stuff. Assuming that we won't be camping there for very long. So, I don't really want everything. I don't think I'll need 
You can't split the stacks of that crap. Only wanted to drop one of them. I'm not sure it's gonna give me the choice. I wanted to drop that, not open it. Why is it? Well, now let me drop it without eating it. That's weird. Uh, pry bar. We might need this. I'm not gonna drop it. Fucking hell, I am a heavy, heavy boy. I don't know why it won't let me drop these without cracking them open. That's really strange. It's really weird that's making me do that. But most of the cans I'm gonna leave, because they're a lot heavier. The only sustenance we're gonna need up that mountain is goddamn maple syrup. Uh, and bullets, lead. And because we won't be bringing any cans, we aren't going to need a can opener. So we can drop that too. I want to genuinely be down to 30 kilograms for this trip. We are going to bring all the flares though, because I'm pretty much going to be 24-7 flaring to keep dogs away from me. Uh, we don't need two bottles of antibiotics at all. Drop all of it. Uh, we aren't going to need... God, we have so much food. What is that sound? Are these all cooking? At the fire? <laughs> Neato. Can I, like, put the fire out? It's gonna burn, then. I have to move all this crap. That's annoying. Pick up the bedroll. Yeah, that's genuinely burning. The food will- I would get back and all the food will be fucking ruined. Because it all cooked because my character is forced to open it to drop it on the ground. For some it's reason. dark out here. Time to look for shelter. I've are Bud, we've been in shelter. You're not getting more than that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're not getting better than what we have. Matter of fact, we're leaving. We're not gonna need the cooking pot. I know. But ideally, chat, we aren't spending much time in Timberwolf. Drop this can. Drop these sticks. No, keep the sticks. We need something to light some fires. Drop this. We're not gonna need to repair anything. If we do, well, we got attacked, and that means we're probably gonna die. We'll need the pry bar just in case. What we won't need is two things of anti or antiseptic. Drop one. We also won't need... I don't think we're gonna need more than four flares. Three flares, honestly, because we also have a gun. We have two guns that work. Uh, drop those. We're not going to need the water purification tablets. We have an insane amount of water. Uh, I'm going to eat some of this now to down to get a little bit lower on our weight for our water. So we're going to fill up entirely on food and water going up to this place. And that might just get me down to three kilo, 30 kilograms flat. No, we're still a little heavy. Fuck. I drop something. Uh, the sardines. It is canned at all. Drop it. Drop the herbal tea. Don't need it. Drop all of it. Drop. We still have a lot of cans of soda. Drop that. That's like half eaten. I need to drop 20 kilograms. So just drop another soda. We've got plenty. We got four cans of soda. We're good. All right, chat, some of you might say that it's dangerous to climb this at night. Hang on, let me make sure these cans actually aren't cooking before I fucking do this, because I swear to God I'm going to scream if they all burn. Okay, they're good. Up the mountain. If this is even the right way, if it isn't, well, then we dropped all that stuff for nothing. We go pick it back up. No sleep. I did just sleep. And we slept specifically because I knew my character would get fucking tired climbing this. When we get up, 
we're gonna drink uh, coffee. Get up there! Oh. Oh. It's immediately colder at the top, Chad. Immediately. Let's go. Let's hope Timberwolf is up here. Get our lantern out. From this point on, any one of us could die if you slow down. Might as well pick a nice place of, like a nice little spot of snow to die in. All right. We're going up. The only saving grace up here is that the rocks protect us from the wind. That one looks comfy, I know. That one looks like it's your spot. You know, what if this isn't the way? <laughs> what if we just are in the wrong spot and this takes us somewhere completely different? Like, wouldn't that be really embarrassing? Like, that would be like fucking all of day five, like I said, wasted. This looks like a dead end. <gasps> Timberwolf Mountain. We are making incredible time, and that means the most important thing we can do right now is find a place to rest because we want it to be daytime, I think, when we ascend all the way. Like, properly. We want to get to, like, midway through and find a place that we can actually, like, rest. Because I want to be able to see. Because right now my vision is really bad. Also, there's timber wolves. There's definitely going to be wolves. I feel like we can just operate on a friendly assumption for the duration of our time in Timberwolf Mountain that there may be wolves in Timberwolf Mountain. But that's what my guns are for. <laughs> in the hopes that I won't be mauled by wolves in Timberwolf Mountain. place. Thank God we've got some coverage from like from the goddamn wind. The hell is that? Is that a Oh it's a landing gear. It's a we it's a fucking wheel. Okay. We're gonna keep going this way for now. In the hopes that maybe we'll see something of note. I'm guessing that over there is the peak. On account of it's a uh, higher mountain than the rest of the mountain here. And it's north. So that's probably the peak. So that's where we want to be going, that direction. So let's start cutting sort of this way. I'm going to need to drink the rest of that coffee. The coffee's getting drank. We can't, we are not going to slow down our coffee drinking until we find a place to rest. I think I saw a ghost on Timberwolf Kill Mountain. I don't believe it. You'd have to have picture proof photographic evidence to make me buy it. Why would you lie about something like that? What do you have to gain? Hello? There's no wolves on Timber Wolf Mountain. Well, it's just like there's no ghosts or Bigfoot. None of those things exist on Timber Wolf Mountain. They're extinct. Also, the wolves traveled south. They traveled down when the winters came, when the long winter came, the longest winter of all. They don't. They don't do that anymore. 
I really hope I see like anything for shelter. I'm gonna die of hypothermia out here. <gasps> oh, yo, actually, dude, streamer luck. <laughs> streamer luck. There it is, baby. Base. That's that is the peak. We got to go around that mountain, but that is absolutely the peak. This is not indoors. It is slight. It is just indoors, and there's a basement, but you can't go in it. You can just search it. I think Ragged trail this. boots, no decent light shell, maybe better than the last one. Hang on, let me just put this down for now. We got enough to survive. We're gonna sleep here tonight. That's really lucky. Too much stuff to carry. Shut up. We're gonna light another fire. There's a ton of wood here, so we're gonna light this fire. If this goes out, all right, I push one of you out the window. I push, and I immediately shove one of you out this window. And I start lighting it again. Sacrifice had to be made to the cold gods. When you try to walk in, I spray you with the water bottle again. All right. We're gonna wanna bring some of this in the assumption that we may not be making it down in one trip. Well, as in like we won't, not in one like fucking consistent mu like movement. We're gonna eat these peaches. Mmm. And we'll finish the rest when we wake up. We need stamina. I've got the weird feeling it gave me that mountaineering rope to make it very obvious to me that we are going to be climbing quite a bit. So we're gonna sleep for four hours. When we wake up, with any luck, the sun will be rising. That's the most we can hope for. All right, 46 minutes on that. The wind has stopped, which is really good. What time is it? It's mid, it's like midnight. I'm not sure how confident I am going out in this kind of advanced darkness chat. But how much more wood do I have? Two of each. I'm not planning on extending the fire. How much fucking water do I have? Plenty. We're good on water. I don't exactly want to be overweight going into this. Oh, I have been carrying this crap. Drop this. Don't need that one. Is better than the other one? What are the odds we get two that are the exact same? Oh, wait, this one's better. <laughs> Never mind. This one's objectively better. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Hope nobody needs that anymore. A note. A page from a climber's journal found near the base. September 15th. Climbed at the base of Timberwolf Mountain. Looks like there are some nice cracks, just like Clive said. Going to set up a top rope and do some bouldering until the others show up, hopefully soon. September 6th. Wondering if my friends got lost, as they still haven't arrived. Woke up in the night to a deafening noise and fire on the mountain. Went to check it out, but the weather got nasty and I couldn't find my way. Clear day, September 7th. I went out again. Found some metal cargo crates. Looks like they might have come from a plane. There's still smoke coming from the summit. I'm heading out to see if I can make it to the peak and learn about what's going on. Yeah, he never got back. Or he would have wrote, written about it. He would have written something. <sighs> We're gonna sleep for two more hours. I need full stamina. I don't feel comfortable going out there without a full bar. It's time. Finish the peaches. Drop the can.
Drop. 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 We're gonna be using exclusively water, energy drinks, and flares for the rest of this. We're gonna carry some stuff on us still, and we still have a cup of coffee that actually barely has anything in it. I don't know why we kept this. I don't know why we still have this. But it'll get rid of some of our weight. God, we are a heavy boy. Do you have a plan? No. No. God, no. And this rope weighs five pounds. So I will tell you one thing. I sure hope I don't, uh... I sure hope this rope, I need it for something. It's gonna be really disappointing. The sun's gonna be rising as we travel. And it is gonna be fucking cold out. Oh, my lantern. I kinda wanna bring our lantern. No, it weighs five kilograms. Whatever, dude. What ever. For real whatever. Where's the lantern? There it is. Okay. That's a full lantern. We're gonna drop the jerry can now. We're not gonna need it for this whole trip. We'll come back to this place before we leave. Did you hear that? Goddamn wolf. The mountain straight ahead, even if we can only barely see it. We don't want to go straight through the lake, though. We want to find a place to cross. Because I don't see a fisherman's shack in the middle. Hello? Can't see anything with the glare of this fucking lantern. If this breaks, dude, I'm going to fucking genuinely cry. I'm going to start sobbing. I will start fucking sobbing if I fall into the water. Like a full, like adult crying. Yeah, so we can't see anything, so I'm kind of following my heart. Hello? Dude, I love owls, but holy shit, they couldn't sound any spookier, dude. Owls are spooky fucking animals. They're like evil like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck off! Any others really want to test me? Because I've got a lot of ammo for my guns. And I will fucking kill- I will hunt- This won't be Timberwolf Mountain anymore! It'll be Pile of Bodies Mountain when I'm done with you! Oh boy. I bet that scared it a little. But I am going that way, so, uh... We go a different way. I believe in the shadows, uh, that wolf got the shit scared out of it, which is good. That's good. We'll go a different way, I guess, than the wolf. Maybe, maybe there's multiple ways up. I'd rather not spend all my ammo scaring dogs away, but now I'm afraid to light my torch again. Keep looking for, like, ropes. I know you can't see much of anything, neither can I, trust me. Uh, we're gonna look for ropes. Because if we see a rope, that means we can climb up further. Dude, I will fucking rip you in half. If you crest this hill anywhere near me. They're everywhere. And I'm cold. Just keep moving. This sucks. The only way I'll feel comfortable on this peak is if every wolf is dead. This looks like something. Rope, 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 rope. We're going up this. We're going up this. It's almost impossible to see, but it's safe. I'm too encumbered to climb. 
Things we don't need. Things we don't need. Do I really need the mountaineering rope? Fuck! It's five pounds, the mountaineering rope! All right, chat, here's the thing. We're going up, not down. We're going up. Therefore, presumably, every rope we need should already be there. I think. I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna chance dropping this. I don't think I'm going to need it. If I do, God help us all. I need to find some place to escape this cold. I want everything else. I don't think I'm gonna need it. I think that if I'm going up, every piece of rope should already be there for me if I need to climb something. It's probably for shortcuts, which I've packed enough of other supplies that I shouldn't need any. I think that's the way up is this direction. I mean, I can't see fucking anything. What time is it? Sun's gonna be coming up soon. Visibility's gonna be better soon. But, uh... I'm trying to preserve... the flares a little bit longer. If that makes sense. And plus, I'm not getting rid of the fir wood chat because I'm planning on lighting a fire on the trip. As you've noticed, it's fucking cold up here. And I don't know when I'm finding another shelter. But this looks like the way up. Or something, at Die least. If I don't warm up soon. Shut up, dude. You're gonna be fine. It's just the shadows. Do flares give heat? Yes, but right now I haven't started freezing with hypothermia yet. And I'm banking on running into a cave. In this place. Which would be a lot better to light a fire in. So I don't really want to do it outside in the middle of a clearing. We're gonna be okay, chat. No one worry about anything until I say you need to panic. Okay? That said... No, don't drink the don't drink the energy drink yet. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, this looks unideal. We're gonna, since we're not over encumbered anymore, we are gonna start moving a little bit faster. Not much faster, but a little faster. Plane engine. That's the engine of a plane. We're getting close. We know the flare gun's up there. We know this. Too cold to panic? Yeah, well. Stop being cold. It actually makes you colder. Everyone knows this. Just keep your eyes peeled for wolves in the darkness. I know it's hard to see. Trust me, I'm seeing exactly what you're seeing. This is not windy anymore. There may be someone in here. But we can warm up while we're in here. This cave goes down. If you think I'm about to go into a cave going down, you're out of your goddamn mind. We're gonna warm up and rest with this out. We're trying to save this. We're gonna eat some of our stuff and drink. Fill up on calories. And then we keep climbing. Remember, if it gets bad, we have a big pile of maple syrup to drink. We're just gonna warm up. I don't wanna go into that cave. There might be wolves. 
There might be holes. We are going to pass an hour's time. If we're just sitting here, we shouldn't get too sleepy. We're gonna pass one more hour's time to warm up a tiny bit more. And by then the sun will be up and we'll be able to reach the peak. Or we'll get as close as we fucking can to the peak. Okay. Let's keep moving. Gun out. I think I'm going the right way, but I'm not about to go down any cave that looks like it's going down. It might be a dead end. And we don't have the time to be doing that. We're gonna keep following this exact path. Imagine if we actually do get gate kept by the fucking rope thing. That'd be so fucking. Is that a rope thing? Oh my god. No, 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 no. It's not that long of a trip. It could be a thousand times worse. But oh my god, if we have to double back, that's gonna be so sad. Unless there was a rope climbing. I didn't bring a hacksaw. That's absolutely a rope climbing point. But I don't think you can do a climbing rope from bottom to top. I think you can only do it from top to bottom. So, it wouldn't matter. We might have to take that cave. This is absolutely a climbing point. But it doesn't matter if we can't go from top, like bottom to top. So, this might not be the way up. And if it isn't, then what? There might be a sea, there might be a small path here. Some like side thing. I would be shocked if there was only a singular way up the mountain. If that makes sense. But it's now worrying me. There is absolutely not a way up the mountain here. Fuck. Okay, uh... Then it looks like we're going back to the cabin. Because I... We'll have to go through the cave. I'm worried about our inventory. I'm worried about how much time, we're, how much like resources we have, unless we find stuff while we're out. We're gonna have to take the cave. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through the cave after all. It's fine. We packed for situations like this. It starts beating up for a while. We just lost a lot of time doing this. We're gonna take that cave. And we're gonna see if we can get somewhere with that. We're not gonna be able to see anything, so I'm gonna light a flare instead of a lantern to scare away animals. Because that'll that spooks uh, that spooks animals more than a uh, fucking lantern does in this game, and we didn't pack a bunch of lantern fuel. We're moving. We'll warm up on the trip, and flares do provide a bit of warmth. Fucking Jesus Christ! I was not expecting it to be a dead end on that side. That was not ideal, chat. Okay, let's hope that this takes us. Did that, can I pick that back up? I didn't mean to click that. You can. Thank God. I, I was like, I, I right clicked. I was just trying to move my mouse. Okay, well, this guy fucking died, but he didn't leave any messages saying he died of unnatural causes. He might have just gotten tired. Got any food on you? Wonder if this is any good to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna take those. I need those more than you. Cole huge right now. We are going to take every piece of coal we get. And we hope we don't see any fucking wolves.
This is fucking cute. I'm having fun though. This is a really cursed challenge. I like this way more than the bear one. Like conceptually being on like a time limit. We're almost halfway through and we're almost to the flare. Once we get the flare, it's easy street. Genuinely. I vaguely know the way to go, but we don't have to do any more psycho climbing up like horrible mountains. We just have to get the flare and leave. Once we get back out of this place, we got a ton of shit we can loot in Pleasant Valley, then we can leave. We just don't want to take any damage. But this is why we packed all that in Accelerant. And we got a bunch of coal, so we can light a fire really easy. No. All right. Everyone cross your fingers that the game doesn't throw a bunch of you need uh, an actual climbing rope to do this stuff. Oh, fuck this. Okay, up is good. Up is better than down. We're going up. I thought this would be narrow enough, these cliffs, that I wouldn't get cold. If I get near one of the edges. I'm also just gonna assume that any caves I see might take me far higher up, and I guess that's what we want right now. Yeah, no, this place is just cold as fuck. <laughs> I like getting near this ledge. I'm only getting slight temperature shift. This place is just miserable. This is a miserable shithole. But at least I'm not seeing any dogs so far. We might have scared a bunch of them off with that gunshot. That might have been really good for us, better than we thought. This is nice, in a miserable kind of way. Cave. And it forks here. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ooh. Y'all wanna take a quick pit stop to heal, uh, to warm up a little? Since we got a lit flare. And a bunch of spare, uh, wood. I think we pit stop. If this fucking goes out, I screech and I. Mm, when you's gonna end up being fuel for the. Well, that didn't work. I have four accelerants. Start the fucking fire. Turned out pretty well. We're saving the coal. Because I believe coal weighs less, so we're gonna warm up a little. And we got free accelerant. Excellent. We're gonna be drinking that. Survive the outdoors. I don't need that. More accelerant. That accelerant is so gigantic this late in the game where we are, dude. It's I'm I'm fucking losing my mind. At how lucky that is. So, all right. Uh, we're gonna keep warming up quick. Fuck. Part of me. What time is it? It's barely noon. If I have to climb anything, I am fucked. The game is telling me to sleep here. The game is giving me a strong warning to sleep right here in this shelter where the snow miraculously still falls while I still can. Uh, this is a the dev was here scenario. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more fire in and we're gonna sleep for uh, three hours with a flare in my bed. Okay. That's better. And now it's not fucking snowing, which is good too. Let's go. Oh, take the bedroll, you fuck up. Take the bedroll, you fuck up. Now let's go. I'm gonna go this way. And here's my only logic. That's all I have. <laughs> I get the weird feeling one side's a dead end and probably gives me like more items and I don't need those. I just have to keep going. So, shut up. Quiet.
Let's just hope that whatever we have to climb isn't that bad, because uh, our stamina, our, our, our consciousness isn't that great. If we get over, the, we'll be able to climb almost anything as long as we don't also get overweighed. That's why I want to avoid, I don't want to sprint. I keep trying to sprint, I don't want to. But the torch will keep us a little warmer. Thought I heard a dog. But that'd be foolish of them to attack me. I, I could thrash a dog so easily with my current kit, I would destroy them. This place sucks though, Chad. This place is an absolute shithole. Uh, absolutely miserable, this place. I, will, I would give this zone a zero out of five as far as overall, hus uh, you know, how hospitable it is. Probably a zero or less. Rope? There's a rope. That's the way up. Fuck. It doesn't look that high. I should be able to climb it with the stamina I have. And then we'll have to rest once we get up there. Once we get up there, we're gonna have to look around for another cave. Understand, everyone? After we get there, we're gonna look around for another cave. Throw the torch. I don't care what you do with the torch. Just throw it. Get out of your hands. Okay, that's looking a lot higher than I thought it was. Okay, so that was a distance. That was a trick of the eyes. Uh, this thing is actually... Ex this might be the uh, highest rope climb I might do the entire game. Uh, by the looks of things. How's my stamina? Not ideal. This game's not dark at all, question mark. Drew. Hey chat, wouldn't it be sad if um, in my desperation to get up this thing, I fall to my death trying to climb it because I don't have enough stamina, but I absolutely don't have time to go all the way back now? Wouldn't it be really sad? Or, would, or, or is the proper word really funny? Like really funny if I died like this. There's no time like the present to climb this thing. That's a high one. Welp. Get up there. Get up there. Dude. We have to do all this in reverse after this chat. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Brain risk. We're gonna have to take another nap. Dude, fucking stop. You don't understand I'm trying to save your life. Let's look for another cave. The whole thing I've learned with this challenge is that uh, day and night cycles are nothing but shams. They're tricks. My life exists solely on my own schedule. I am the master of my own destiny. And you will not deter me from my path, no matter how much you try, sun and moon. I will rest inside of this crevasse in order to survive for one more day. What time is it? It's a noon. It's a smooth noon. We don't need to make a fire. All we're gonna do is put down a bed wherever it will allow. Where the f am I like on a cliffside? Here we go. No, no, no. Put it down. I need to sleep. Come on. There it is. We're gonna sleep for four hours. Uh oh, bear moose cave. <laughs> this one's got bears, mooses, and like at probably 18 to 19 other things, streamer. What will you do? I don't know. Die? I keep thinking I might not have enough calories, and then I remember I absolutely have a gigantic fucking thing of maple syrup that'll definitely help a little bit. 
850 in that. Yeah, that's like three. That's like three of these. Okay. Uh. Okay. Drink a little more. We're trying to simultaneously lower our overall weight. Now I'm going to sleep for two more hours. I'm hoping that the sun will be setting when I wake up. Yeah. I'm hoping I'll be able to see, sort of like how this picture looks right now, when I get out there. Yes. We keep moving. The mountain's this way. We gotta make the most out of every second we can get right now. Chat. It is a good thing we grabbed that knife. I might have to resort to eating the wolves up here. I've got plenty of water. I got plenty of ways to make fire. I'm gonna run out of food soon if we don't like move quickly. I might have to eat the wolves. I might have to actually run up to a wolf and shoot it and then devour its flesh to survive. I see one over there. Or a deer. Like, I'm sorry it's coming to that chat, but I underpacked food because I needed to climb the goddamn mountain. I'll tell you what was a good idea, ditching that fucking rope so far. And the weather just shifted to perfect for traveling. Let's make the most out of this as we can. The only thing I can assume, chat, is that where the flare gun is is probably a full replenishing of food and water. If we're lucky. Meaning, if we get up there, we may just be able to refill our bars. That's oddly optimistic. It's a plane crash. They got, like, food. They got, like, food from... Planes have food in them. It's the only chance we have, really. And then we have to descend all the way back down. Which is, um, probably would have been made a lot easier using the rope, now that I think about it. It's probably a much faster trip if we descend, uh, not the exact way we came, but, um, you know. Uh, I think I'm gaining more time by not carrying the rope on me, frankly. Getting to the lighthouse is going to be the easiest part of the game, I think. I think if I'm down out of this area by two and a half days, I'll be able to make it. But we're cutting, we're gonna be cutting it close. It really just comes down to if I take any injuries on this trip. Mainly. Am I overweight? No, good. We're reaching a kind of like clearing here. There might be a rope soon. This is the mountain, all right. Through the snow. Let's just hug it until we see a way up. God, I wish I knew the layout of this place. <laughs> All I can do is, like, keep going. Well, I'm technically going up. Which is good. I guess. Don't really know what more to do but that. Really? Where? Where? I heard it. Did I not just... Did I just imagine the sound of a wolf breathing near me? Oh, it was the it was the mixture of me stepping and my fucking lantern shaking on my character. This isn't the way. Fuck. I've taken a wrong path, I believe. The only good thing is that this is really not that cold out. Wait. <gasps> Rope. Bro. God! 
Carl, he's here. He's with us even now. Even now, he's with us. You can't see it, but it's there. It's there. It's there. It's a rope. A big rope. We just have to get a little higher up the mountain. It's all about resource management. See, Chad, my plan is that once I make it to the top, I'm gonna to take an emergency stim. Secluded shelf doesn't sound like a place that leads me to an actual exit uh, to my play. Actually, it's take me down. Please don't take me down. Please don't take me down. Take me up, up the mountain. That's up. This is up. Take me up. Don't take me down. Take me up. He's trying to take me down. No, no, no. This looks like the this looks like a rock for a cave. Hang on. Ow, really? Ow, really? Fuck you. It is a cave. Well, I'll be damned. Hang on. You two, get the fuck out of my inventory. And you two, get out. Where are we? Please tell me this cave goes up. It's going up. It's a slight incline upwards, right now at least. This might be taking us higher up the mountain. And we'll probably light a fire here and warm up and get some more sleep. Fuck, dude. I need more coffee. That was the one thing I didn't get much in loot that I was hoping I'd get is coffee. I never got any more. Grab a little bit more coal. Oh, fuck. Guy's dead. This guy's dead as fuck, dude. That could have been us. Let's just keep moving. This is going up. This is absolutely taking us up the mountain. I'm lighting a flare. Shit you not, I just heard the sound of a dog like scampering. Not taking the chance. No way. How's my weight? Close to max. I don't need more firewood. That was the music. Haha, ha, I disagree. I think it could be anything. And I know these games have put animals inside caves before. Because I've been mauled by them in fucking caves and full, full instant swamps. So, uh... I leave nothing to chance. Ugh, fuck. My flare. So where's the exit? There it is. Is this actually the exit? This must be the exit. I'm gonna plan... on... like one hour of sleep. Because I'm hearing wind out there. Oh, I walked out. Let's look around. I looked. I need sleep if I'm going to go out there because that's fucking omega cold right now. So uh, let's... Uh, get a bed roll down. How is my food supply? Eat. We have plenty of water still. We're doing good on water, so drying myself out's not a big deal. 
We don't need to be full all the time. We have two, we have a bag of jerky and chips left, and then the maple syrup. Getting down, I'm not gonna need as much energy. It doesn't take as much energy to go down ropes and up, and once we get back, we can get all the cans of food back at the entrance to Pleasant Valley. There's also probably gonna be wolves at the peak, which I can devour and eat, presumably, if there's a place I can cook them. We need to sleep so we can bring our kilogram weight up before we do our thing. How much water am I with? We're so good on water. Okay. We need to sleep for four hours. This sucks, but I'm having a lot of fun. But it sucks. All right. Let's get out there. It's fun because it sucks. Brew. The weather hasn't gotten any better. It's actually so bad, I'm tempted to, uh, not, oh, I flipped down a small incline and now I can't get back up to my cave. That's bad. Well, we are continuing on for now. Cannot fucking see. I'm going to assume this is the way. Wow, this is bad. This is the worst it's been in a while for me. Is that a bridge? I see something. There's a tree. I can make a shelter in the, in the snow if I have to. For the record, I, I can protect myself from these elements a little bit. Rope! 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 Now the question is, did I allow myself enough stamina to get up to the top? Nope. Go back down. I don't have enough. I'm gonna fall like the last second without full stamina. God, that is fucking, that is fucked. There's 15 sticks and five cloth to build. I might have to double back and look for another cave to hide in. If there's even another one to hide in. Because uh, I can't climb that with my stamina as it is. Not with how cold it is. I, that fucking, dude, the fact that you can't jump can't in this game is brutal. Hands. I really wish the devs had had a jump button in this game because that might have just fucked us because I genuinely can't get back up to where I was because of that. Like, and it's the stupidest thing, like, because it's like a, hang on, this might be a cave here. Hang on, this might be something. Maybe? Goddamn freezing. That's something. It's tiny, but it's something. Lucky me. Well, this is why we packed uh, the extra accelerant. Yeah, there really should be a jumping. Ever tried jumping in five feet of snow? Dude, up. ever tried fucking vaulting with your two arms that you have up to a ledge that's right in front of you that's fucking two feet off the ground? Don't like defend the game, stupid dude. Hey, at least we got some food. Dude, I can't. We're gonna need to get some weight off of us, and we're just gonna sleep through this, cause uh, yeah, this is fucked. This is really gonna burn a lot of time. Is the biggest bummer. We're gonna sleep for five hours. I didn't bring my, uh, pot because it weighs too much. All right. It is now actually time 
to get up that fucking mountain. I'm hoping this is the last climb. What did I just drop? For firewood. It's time. Don't harvest the cans. Never, never harvest the cans. Get rid of the cans. Hey, at least our inventory is nice and empty for this. Well, torch. Uh, grab this. We are at the best condition we can really be for this. Is this rotten? That's ravaged. That's got to be the peak. It's uh, the most fucking absurdly high it could physically be, but we are at the best condition we can to climb it. I'm guessing we will probably crest it with about 1% of our fucking character's body left. Or we'll fall to our death and fucking die. That'll be the end of our story. And then we have to get all the way down. Hey, at least the weather's good this time. Ish. It just got colder the second I mentioned it. Like, it got angry at me. Please. Please. It's going much better. We'll get up. We'll make it. Hey, we're halfway stamina, we're over halfway the climb. We'll make it. We'll make it, but it's gonna be barely! Get up there, dude! You can't do this to me! No fucking way he did it! <gasps> Woo! Mountain Summit. Any wolf we see, we shoot and kill immediately. I'm not taking any fucking chances. We still have to get all the way down. Where the fuck is that flare gun? I am pretty sure we can't safely descend even if we're at low, like if we're at low stamina, so I'll have to rest. I don't think you can slide down the rope. So, uh, fuck. It's gonna be sort of fucked up getting back down too. But it's gonna be much faster traveling to the other area. So I think if we're down by two days left, we should be able to make it all the way. Because we can really bum rush it to the end after we're down. The hardest part is getting up here. And we did that with about half of the time, like the length of the game. So, overall, pretty good. And there's no wolves up here. It's fucking cold. Tail section. Maybe we'll get some decent resources too. Look at all this. Newsprint. We don't have a hacksaw. It's not gonna say that we needed one, right? I will alt F4. Oh my God. Can't be too careful. You have it. Jerky, that'll help us get down. We'll have enough to get down. Driving gloves, clip, we'll always use more chips. Fruit. Uh, I could have used a hacksaw and broken all these open, but I don't really care about it, if that makes sense. There's a lot of wild animals in this area, and I have a hunting knife. I can kill something if I have to for food. But I, I'm not necessarily, like, Cold starving. Making my head feel thick. The main issue I'm worried about is, um... Not being able to get down very quickly, or the weather getting worse while I'm trying to get down. There is one thing though. Uh, 
Considering the amount of weight I'm going to be ditching as I eat and go down, I'm going to go back to that cave and grab that mountaineer's rope and see if there's like shortcuts I can take to get down faster. No. Because there might be. We might not retrace the exact way we went. Because I might be able to sort of shortcut this now. Matter of fact, I think I know where I am. So Remember that rope that I couldn't get up, chat? Just want to lay down for a bit. Dude, you're going to be fine. You're not that cold yet. We'll find a place for you to sleep in a minute. Just chill out. Might have to nap inside the thing. Unless there's a fucking cave. Dude, there's caves everywhere. It's like really easy to just guess where a cave is based off of the rock texture. All right. Well, the rest here. We're going to warm the guy up and take a nap. There's something in my eye. I think I know where I am. I think if I if I take the Mountaineer's rope and I go to the left instead of the right, follow the left side of the cliff even further, I'll get to where the Mountaineer's rope was used. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, they get, they've given me enough to light an entire another fire. Wow, well, that's lucky. <laughs> wow, all right. Food. And food. Wow, it's like the game feels bad for me. Don't need it. Need it. We'll take. Don't need antibiotics. We're going to light this fire. We have four accelerant still, so start that fire. Dude, we are doing okay. We're gonna keep saving all of our coal for now. This guy's gonna need a nap in order to actually get down anything. So, uh, yeah. I still have newspaper. I don't think I actually need the sticks to start fires the way that for some reason I keep thinking I do. So we're going to add that to to lower my weight a little bit more. We're going to sleep. We need to. We're going to sleep for five hours. And then we pray. That they don't come for us. The wolves. We pray that they don't learn how to climb. My stamina is still low. And I believe that's actually due to my hunger and thirst, which are both low right now. We're gonna eat these drying, the chips that make my mouth dry, because I'm gonna drink the soda that I have. And then the milk. Offload some of these cans. This is disgusting, by the way. This is actually fucking disgusting. Mm -mm -mm. After all this time. Drop. How's my stamina? Still not great. Is it just a fucking sleep thing? Because if it is, I'm not. Definitely sleep for another hour and a half. I can also add one to coal to push it. I can sleep for two more hours. I need to be able to see to do what I'm thinking I can do when I descend. I heard the fucking wind pick back up. It's not that bad. How's my stamina now? It's still fucked. Is it? What is making it low still? I have to go. We're gonna have to take our chances. I can't stay here any longer. Wait? I don't think it's the wait. We've got extra on top of it. No, it's not the weight. Hypothermia, hypothermia permanently lowers it. I don't have hypothermia, chat. Because uh, if I did, it would have told me like 18 different times. Maybe it's my clothing. But uh, I can't really afford to drop it. So we're just going to have to hope this is just enough for me to descend safely back down. Because we're leaving. Got my bedroll. Got everything. It might just be... I think you use less going down than you use going up. So, um, I'm, I'm going to assume I can get down safely. And if I don't, then I'll take some fall damage. But I'm at full with bonus. So I think it's safer for me to go down. And if it isn't, well, well this was a beautiful journey we all had. We did really well. I'm fine. Yeah, it uses way less going down, dude. We can do this all in one. We're getting off this fucking mountain. We are out of here. You understand me? We're getting the hell out of this place. 
We're finishing this journey. We're gonna get to that lighthouse. We're gonna save our lives. We're gonna, someone's gonna see that flare, I promise. Now I'm gonna follow my original plan. I'm gonna follow this side of the mountain the rest of the way around and assume that I may see a place where I can use the rope that I have. How much weight do I have? I might even grab a second one. Because I might be able to like double shortcut, I don't know. There's rope things everywhere. This might be like a you need all the ropes that you saw to get down properly. So I'm just gonna grab the one from this cave as well and then we're just gonna, we're just gonna descend as fast as we can just see where I get, where, what I can get away with. It was here, right? The cave's like here. Yeah. Speed run. Are we winning, chat? Well, we have three days left. Um, ideally, I want to be out of this area by two days, like, appearing. So we're not really winning. We're actually kind of behind on time. But it could be way worse. We could be dead. It could be fucking cold, and it's not. I'm fairly awake. I've, my stats are okay and I've got enough food to get down the mountain. However, if I retrace my steps perfectly, I don't have enough food to get down the mountain. <laughs> Is how I put it. So uh, we're winning until we don't find a shortcut this way. And then we're losing. And then I have to kill animals to survive. And then I definitely won't have time to reach the exit. And then we lose. So... Keep your fingers crossed that we see a rope spot on this cliff. Or it's over. Life is over. That's a rope spot right there. We win. There's one right there. Wait, we took this rope spot up. Didn't we? Where the fuck are we? We definitely did not take this rope spot up. We took a cave up here. I need to take the cave again. I fucked up. Oh. Mm, never mind. <laughs> Wait, did I take a rope up? I'm so confused. I don't think I've been here. I think I definitely did not take this. I took a cave. And then I went to another cave. This is new. So I could have also gone this way. But I did see another rock over here. Chat. Oh no. He's killing a rabbit. <gasps> Sorry, buddy. But, uh, I'm not taking the fucking chance. No fucking way. In a million years, am I taking the chance <laughs> on that fucking thing stopping me now? No way. He killed the bear again. Dude, he did the bear challenge. This is, you know, that's the reason, chat. That, that's like evidence right there. I've done the bear challenge. So, uh, you know, don't ever forget. I'm more powerful than you probably understand. So, yeah, that would have been really bad. You just two-tapped a bear at level one rifle? Yeah, I did, because I don't fucking miss, because I've done the bear challenge. Which, uh, you know, kind of speaks for itself. Chat? I know where we are. These are the boxes, chat. Remember? When we got here and he said we, re we realized there, there was a rope thing, but we couldn't climb it. We're, we're gonna get out of this zone before three days rolls over. We will survive, Jack. Unless I need another rope to get to the lighthouse. <laughs> Wait, I still have a spare. Yeah, we're fine. We're just gonna retrace our steps all the way to the hut that we left a bunch of our stuff in, pick all that stuff up, and then retrace our steps back to the exit where we can pick up all of our old food, which will be plenty to get us all the way to the exit. If I knew where, where the exit was. <laughs> I neglected to tell you something, chat, and I have to be honest now that I have the flare gun. I do not know 
where to go once we get down. As I did not know where to go once I got here. I have a vague idea. Because everything connects to Pleasant Valley in one direction or another, and we all know this. Uh, I actually think my character might actually fucking not be able to climb that. But there's another rope spot here. I'm gonna take the rope. I get this, like, weird vibe. My character's gonna, like, fucking break his legs trying to go that way. I'm just gonna get ditch all the rope spots so I have all my weight back. You're joking, right? No. 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 <laughs> no, I'm not. I really don't know the way to go. But hey, chat, for all the lack of directional knowledge I have, there's one thing I do have, and it's God. Looking down on me and giving me a W because this weather couldn't be better. This is quite literally, we are not resting until we get to the exit of this zone because this is like the best weather we could have possibly gotten to go down this mountain. I cannot fucking believe it. Robbers, thank you for the raid, man. You're just in time to watch me finish the most difficult of challenges. I, uh, I'm doing the Timberwolf escape challenge. I've got, I just, I just climbed the peak. I have the flare gun. All I have to do now is leave and then find the lighthouse, which is harder to do. I killed a bear. I killed a bear, so pretty badass, kind of insane. You know, kind of insane. Thanks for the raid, hope you, I hope you, uh, I started playing uh, Into the Radius. Good. Good. Is that my, is that the rope over there? I know I have to take one more rope down. I know this put me exactly in the same spot I already was. I think I'd go for... I think there's a rope over here I need to take down still. There it is. All right, chat. From here, we should be able to see the cabin. We just stop there, pick up our shit. Into the radius got even better with 2.0. I know. I've been playing it in 2.0 on my off time. It's very good. Imagine if this is the one that my character can't descend, and I fucking die. There's a chance, dude. My stamina is not doing good. This is like a, this is the second longest one. Oh, there's the spot where I dropped my climbing rope and said I would never need this. I remember now. Ah, oh, it's all coming back. We're gonna follow this trail of trash. Where I was like, I don't need this anymore, and I just throw something on the ground. I still don't need that. Grab it, <laughs> just in case, uh, just in case, cause um, you know, we could suddenly need it. Afraid, I'm not afraid, it's just, dude, I have no idea how to get to the lighthouse. I know that we started at the lighthouse for that survival game we did like a while back where the stream VOD got ruined, but I don't remember the path to get there from here very well. Where's the cabin? There it is. See, the one, if you got time to laugh, you got time to be deeply concerned about wolves. Because while we've slain one or two, the pack yet still survives. Also, you have time to worry about the ice breaking and killing me. <laughs> we could totally fucking die in the ice right now, but that is, we're going to the house quick. We're gonna try to get down all the way to the bottom before we leave. Well, before we stop to sleep. We wanna get back to Pleasant Valley. But, um, is that a dead man right there? Nice. Just swim. I pass, hard pass. No, that's a dead animal. I killed this. This is me. I did this one, I believe. I believe I shot a wolf and then said, you'll never take me. And that's how we started this zone, was sort of on that energy level. And then I climbed that whole goddamn mountain with my bare hands. I did that. And I didn't even feast on the corpse. I did nothing. I stepped right over it and kept walking because I was busy that day. 
Yeah, I'm kind of powerful. You said that with so much glee. It makes me feel, look, dude, I'm living on a high right now. I'm actually, a, I, I'm making good time. For a bit. For a bit longer, I'm making good time. Do your hands hurt? Yeah, from all the climbing and strangling, mainly. We're not gonna rest here. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, ah, I'm like, I'm worried though. I'm worried that I'm going to get to the rope that I need to go down and fucking blow it because I'm getting sleepy. Here we are. Unsetting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Time. Grab the flares. Grab the rest of my snacks. It's been a while. It's been a long time coming. Grab my jerry can. We're gonna fill this bad boy up. And then we're gonna ditch the jerry can. No, we're gonna keep the jerry can. If I sleep, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna fucking, my thing's gonna, actually, I mean, I can drink a bunch. So I'll get my weight back down. I don't necessarily want to keep any of these cans. Because they weigh a lot, these things. Okay, that gets me back down to 29.92. I am going to sleep for... Fuck. I think this place is warm enough without a fire that I can sleep in it safely. I don't think I have enough uh, consciousness to... Oh, I don't have any fuel. I am out. Have I used... I've used all of my wood. I need to get something to start the fire. The coal will only allow it to continue. I think I'm safe, though. I think I can sleep here. Jerry can really carry this run. Yeah, I know, I know. I think I can actually sleep for two hours without dying of cold. And then we hope the weather's still not bad. I'm hearing wind, so the weather sucks. But we have enough to descend. And descend we will. Because whether we like it or not, chat, we have a quota. And on top of that, chat, uh, most of our remaining wood supply is actually at the bottom of the next threshold. So, we're leaving. It's dark. Yeah, it is fucking dark. And I'm not about to light up anything. Because if I do, the wolves will come because this place is fucking infested. If I do anything, the wolves will come. There's... I fucking heard something! Let's just get the fuck out of here. The other place we could also make shelter there and there is still firewood down there, if I remember correctly. Let's just stay, if we stay near these cliffs, we won't get too cold. And I'm pretty sure our exit is in this sort of alcove. Wait, no, I didn't go down any gigantic hills. It's over here. I, I definitely remember not going down any huge hills to get in this place. I do remember going beneath that, though. Yeah, our exit's right in that little, little, little cubby of trees right there. Let's try to stay between the trees so we don't freeze to death. And the trees are great for this. Have more sticks. We can make a fire with these. We can, we're gonna live. We're gonna survive. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna make it, chat. We got three, we're actually gonna get out before my deadline to get out, which was three days remaining. But then we're on a serious time limit. There's a landing gear. All right, we're, this is the exit, yep. This is the way out. All we gotta do now is make sure we don't break our fucking legs getting down the rope. And if we do, well, I guess you guys will just have to carry me. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't decline. <laughs> because 
because of what would happen if you did. No, I've got money on you surviving. Good. <laughs> the implication. We actually did not run into... I was expecting... You see what I was expecting at the top? Was a swarm of like 18 wolves. And you'd like need every bullet. But turns out I could have been way more goof happy with these bullets. And like been shooting them like at funny moments. To like scare the chat. We could have totally been like firing these things off. At like everything we saw that moved. Turns out. Like a psycho. Like a complete psycho. It should be the exit of the area. Should be. If it isn't, fuck. And then we're back in Pleasant Valley, which is very pleasant compared to uh, this place, obviously. It's very pleasant. Good God, it's a long way walking through this. Minus two? What the fuck? You mean minus two? It's, it's literally it's just what I'm saying. It's not a joke. It's just actually full on the nicest zone in the game. Don't fucking like. I don't need to. I don't need to rate that. It's a statement. I'm not like doing a joke. Here we are, Pleasant Valley. You know the only unpleasant part about this valley is this fucking forty yard drop. Okay, that was more of like a, that was like sort of a joke. Not really a joke, more of a shitty observation. Yeah, what if I fall and die doing this? This is actually another really far fall. This one actually sucks too. This is not a good, this is not a good part. But I believe it's the last time I have to do something like this. One last climb, chat. Is there no rope around that rock? Oh wait, I was looking at the wrong rock. Okay, that's the rope rock. For a second I thought someone else came through and stole the rope. <laughs> thought someone stole the rope. <laughs> like some other traveler. All right, get down this and we can take a nap. This actually isn't that bad. Is that, is that firewood? No, 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 we're not getting off the ledge for that. I think I, I think I can light a fire, fine. Am I, what if I sprain my ankle while I'm going down a rope? What happened? Can that happen? It's really cold in this place. Well, home, sweet home, chat. I hope you guys like uh, all this. Good news is, I left a lot of food for us. news is I left a load of food for us. Looks like it worked. Looks like it worked. Look at all this. Not sure why I feel so tired. Shut up. You think I'm not gonna pick up all this? You think I'm not gonna immediately go back to my old ways of being always heavy all the time? Please. <laughs> Please, this is my way of life. <laughs> this is my way. Don't you all see? I'm gonna eat all these cans. I've earned this. I'm gonna pig out. It's been open for weeks, these fucking cans. Don't you see? I've earned this. I earned this. All right. How sleepy am I? Pretty sleepy. I could probably go for a nap. I could also probably go to the bathroom. Uh, I think it's um, I think it's about time I uh, take a little toilet break. You know how it uh, you know how it is, chat with uh, with a bladder like mine. You know how it, you know how it is. Okay, I'll be back in a second.
It's time. It's time. All right. We will survive. We will also catch two hours of shut eye. No more than two, though. We don't have much time. We're catching enough that I can walk down the hill to get back into Pleasant Valley proper. How's the weather? Fucking golden. All right, we're leaving now. How's my weight? Not bad. It could be way worse. Take some sardines. We're going to eat these now, and then we'll dispose of the can. I shouldn't eat both things of sardines, because uh, sardines are worthless. They don't even fill you up. They're like nothing. Overweight now. Whatever. <laughs> Shut up. We don't run in this, in this, in this family, we don't run from nothing. Also, I definitely don't need all these flares. I have learned that. <laughs> I might have been, I might have been a little overzealous on my flare game. Uh. Wow, took a long time to drink that sip of soda. We're leaving. I know a basic idea of where I am. And I know that the exit to Coastal Highway is that way. I have no guarantee to all of you that I'm actually going to, you're not, you might not see Pleasant Valley. I'm actually thinking of hugging this entire fucking like wall of the map until I see the next exit to cut down on time. I didn't grab my fucking bedroll, did I? No, I got it, 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 I got it. You can't laugh at me, I got it. I got it. Fuck all of you. I got it. I got it. You were all thinking I left it there. Even you got even me thinking I left it there. I need a compass. <laughs> Why doesn't my character start with a compass in this video game, dude? I'd love a compass. Where's the North Star? There it is. Big and sinister. So that way's north. There it is, the biggest star in the sky. I'm trying to see if they actually do have it built into the game. Hey, good news is no wolves can exist in Pleasant Valley because they were hunted to extinction years ago. Long before the apocalypse, they were, they were killed, hunted down by the uh, humans of this of this here hamlet. They devoured a child at a playground and then the vengeful families hunted them down and killed them all. Which really works out well for me. Super wrong. Can you prove it? Where's your fucking evidence? Please provide me with references too. Idiot. We're going the right way. And now I know I just didn't hear a wolf trying to sneak up on me. Now I know I didn't hear no wolves trying to sneak up on me. That would be a bad idea. God, it's fucking dark. Skinwalker? Dude, I remember that challenge. That was actually genuinely spooky. If I wasn't so good at it. That is. But I was. I was way too good at it. I wish I could run. I wish I felt compelled to run, but my, my fucking fatigue... Dude, I cannot believe how good the weather's been. Like, across the board, we have just gotten so lucky on weather. That's a cave right there. Nah! 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 I'm 
not taking any more chances. I feel like uh, I feel like the next game I go into is gonna have like an animal in it, and they're gonna try to kill me because I know they do that, and I know that's not an exit. And there's nothing that could be in a cave that I'd necessarily want, because I'm not planning on stopping until I find a house to sleep in. We need to. What we need, chat. Want to know what we need? An energy drink. We need this game to provide us with an energy drink. Or the last thing we're gonna do as this character is be five minutes late to the fucking uh, shoot point. And fucking genuinely, we're gonna take two of our like adrenaline stim packs and just full body sprint towards the exit. And we're gonna pass out like fucking a quarter mile away from the lighthouse like a fucking idiot. What's that light? Why is it all blue there? Hello? I don't like this place, chat. Something's wrong. But, it looks like we've made it to the road. And if we made it to the road, that means that actually the exit to Coastal Highway should be like right here. Once I get around these rocks. Oh, perfect houses. Wait, no, it can't be here then. Because the exit to Coastal Highway is right north of like a bridge. And if there's houses and there's no bridge. Yeah, it's not here yet. I'll see a bridge and that's sort of, if I follow this road, eventually I'll see a bridge and that'll tell me where I'm supposed to be. So this must not be the road. So it's just be a trail that has some revealed road. Okay. Is there anything in here, though? I can't fucking see. I better not see anything freaking scary. Oh, frick. This is the one thing I do use this. Want. Don't need it. Uh, not heating up yet, no. Dog food. I do want that. Revolver ammo. I always want that. Uh, I'm gonna keep fucking rocking with exactly how it's been going. The only thing I'm gonna do is heat up a tiny bit. Damn, I have no tinder left. Frick. Can't feel my feet. I'm not gonna heat up yet. We gotta keep moving. The next place to heat up is at the exact spot I'm thinking of. I might also keep an eye out for things I could turn into tinder, because I think I could make spark plugs. Keep moving for now. Wolves? I don't fear wolves. I have a gun. Oh, I also have flares, which I think actually do heat you up a little. And I mean, I still have a bunch of these, and I haven't used them yet. Nah, the heat thing was placebo. Either way, judging by the fact that I'm reaching Omega Cold, uh, it's time to start moving a little bit faster. Even though I don't really want to. We need to rest soon. Good news is, I think we'll end up being okay. We just need to reach the street. There it is. All right, that's the street. We follow the street that way, and we will reach houses, and we'll be able to rest there. It's going. We are cutting this close, and there is a dog in front of me. We can cut this way. It's actually faster if we do this. We're gonna be cutting this omega close, but temperature is less of a concern because we have full health and extra health. So even if we start freezing to death, we won't immediately die. Now, if we submerge through this river when we cross it, then we will immediately die. If that happens, we die and it's over, and everyone, it's been a beautiful run, and I thank you all for joining me. We almost done did it. Could you imagine if it actually broke, though? We did it. Okay. We should see the actual town of Pleasant Valley coming up, and we can sleep there. And get a bunch of food, which would carry us the rest of the way. 
the ple thank the Pleasant Valley. I've actually I got this place like very well mapped out in my brain. There's no town here. Fuck! Damn it! It's just snow. There's supposed to be a town over this hill. I charted it. No, no, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. We barely lost any health. You just have to keep moving. Chat, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We're not gonna die. We're not gonna die. We're gonna live. We can't die. We're so close to the end. It's only like five more zones to Desolation Point. A house. I see one. The only thing that could happen that would kill our character is if we pass out while walking to the house and freeze to death in the snow. That is the only way this doesn't work out for me. I have no idea whose house this is. <laughs> but it's mine now. I also don't know where I am then. But I'll figure it out. I still have basically three days. You see, I'm gonna start rind like rounding up now to cope. Wait, that's the church! I, I am a I am here! I really am! I really did make it! The church! Jesus! 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 I don't need this anymore! Wait, actually, I'm totally gonna need this. To see in there. We will steal everything that ain't nailed down. This is a church. Of course it's not gonna have anything. But we'll have, I will take this book so I can burn it to survive. Thanks. Excellent Tinder. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's gotta be a place I can rest in town. Actually, I can totally rest right here. In the community center is one of these buildings too. I'm not gonna stop at every building in here. I believe that building right in front of me is the community yeah. center and that is where we're Freezer. gonna stop. One of these two is a community center, and the other one is just a nice house. Either one will fill for what I need to do, which is sleep and warm up, so we're gonna use this one. We'll use this one. Yeah, this'll do. This has everything we need. Nice and quaint. Still don't have Tinder, but I actually don't need to cook anything, so... Man, I really wish I had Tinder. Need to find some. Fleece mittens. How's all my clothes doing? Shockingly all in very good condition still. Let's heat up. This place is super warm. Tinder is depressing. Sorry, man. Beans. Y'all like beans? We're definitely gonna be sleeping till the sun rises now. Well, we got firewood. We really need a work uh, workbench so we can make Tinder. Jesus, that's Jesus right there. Uh, if you squint carefully, you can actually see Jesus in that picture. Could end up being you. That's a mint condition wool sweater. I'm gonna be putting that on. That's garbage. Oh my God, it's awful. <laughs> It's just worse than this one. How's that even possible? Get rid of the <sighs> The bounty of the gods. <laughs> All right, it's time to sleep. After we eat this candy bar. Don't fucking disgust at me. It, we have to live our life however we can. It's a shithole. 
I just can't believe that, uh... We can't, like, use... I, I can't believe I ran out of Tinder. I can't really make spark plugs. To my knowledge, I can't make spark plugs without a... Oh, wait, I'm a fucking idiot. Tinder plugs, yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking dumb. I haven't played... I haven't actually ever properly played this game ever. I just do challenges. All right. Now we can make a fire if we needed one, which we don't. What time is it? All right. We're sleeping for six hours. And when we awaken, we will be alive. Wow, I'm actually not as rested as I thought I would be. But, um, that's- I think that's going to be a running trend, chat? For my character... Forever. For- until we escape. I- I think it's just gonna be a running trend. R.I.P. Lantern? No, you don't understand. Uh, that was planned. I need to lower my weight, and the lantern and the jerry can weigh me down like nothing else. So, uh... I'm putting the rest- I'm throwing the jerry can out here. Like, it's leaving. Everyone say bye-bye to it, by the way. Uh, cause it's done. We're gonna fill this up one last time with whatever remains. And, uh, then we're tossing it out. And we're also ditching the rope. Cause, um... I don't want it. I don't want it, and I don't need it. We're going to the coast. I don't need it. We're ditching it too. Goodbye. Jerry can. I hardly knew you. Where the fuck is it? Did I like eat it when I finished? How is it? How am I unable to? F Where is it? Am I? Jerry? Hi, Jerry. I'll fucking find it with ABCs. This is not. This isn't alphabetical. This is stupid. <laughs> did I kill it when I emptied it? I guess I did. I guess that's how that works. Well, good news is we don't need the lantern anymore. Well, we don't need the jerry can and the lantern. So, th uh, thinning out our amount of crap is good. Let's fill up our food. And I'm going to stop by one or two of the buildings here to look for coffee. How you guys feel about dog food? Jerry can lives on our hearts. Yeah, whatever you say. Whatever you say. We're gonna check for coffee in every cabinet here as well. If we find coffee, that would be, uh, really lucky. <laughs> Better to have this than leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheater is cheating! <laughs> he stripped in the stream! Why is he doing this, dude? He has nothing to prove! Ever seen Tomato and Dream in the same room? Damn, man. That's fucked up. You can't just say things like that. You can't just say Thank that. Goodness. How could you? I'm only going in here to loot the, uh... The fucking floor to see if maybe they had some coffee lying around. Rifle cartridge to gun down another bear if they come after me. Very good. A bear takes two headshots with a, uh, with a sniper, which is something I can easily do because I'm very powerful. Y'all got coffee? Fuck. No. Wait. Big kitchen. We're only after energy drinks and coffee. And then we're leaving. And then I think we're pretty much straight line to the exit. I'm not going to stop for anything else aside from, like, warming up. Wonder Nuts and stuff. To eat. Take it. It doesn't weigh much. Come on. Coffee me. Coffee me. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I need it. No. Well, we're going to check just these and then we're leaving. No. It's actually burning.
consciousness to be searching for coffee. <gasps> Andy. We just won. We're out of here. We just won the game. All right, we win. We can just make one more fire, cook all five cups of coffee, and just beeline it straight to the exit now. We're gonna take the first one right now, actually. We have a long distance to travel, by the way, and we have two and a half days to do it. So, uh, it's time to start moving. We gotta go across this bridge, and then I'm pretty sure it's just straight up. Like, straight past those rocks, up the mountain. We don't follow the road because that's a roadblock. We're looking for like a little cliff in the wall to get to the next spot. So yeah, it's up this really spookily steep mountain. Why the hell did you go up the mountain again? To get this ear flare gun. Wait, no, that's my revolver. To get this ear distress pistol. Which we're gonna use to call for help, where someone will magically be there to receive our call and save our ding dang lives. I'm a hero. Shoot it now? Damn, Tomato, you're really good at voiceovers. I almost believed you were actually playing right now. That is. Dude, come on, chat. <laughs> Why are you trying to diminish my actual fucking accomplishments? The only good news is that I know exactly where I'm going if I get to Coastal Highway by logic. Because I just gotta follow the coast after that point. If I get to the coast, uh, even though Coastal Highway is not Desolation Point and therefore we can't use it, I will know a general idea of where to go next. And the weather's okay. Because this is pre-recorded, yes? Shut up! Shut up! Any more out of any of you? All right, it's gonna be one of my 25 more bullets, okay? And if anyone really wants to get crazy, I got one more of these, two, two more. I can use it to kill a bear, or I can use it to kill one of you. Honestly, I'm not married to either of those ideas. I could go for either. Just remember that. This is the way. I fucking hope. Because if it isn't, we lose the whole game. We can't be making wrong turns anymore. We really can't. <laughs> we don't have the fucking time. I think you take a cave to get here. You do. I'm going the right way. This takes you to Pleasant Valley. I mean, not Pleasant Valley, fucking Coastal Highway. I remember. I'm in, baby. We're in. All we gotta do is go through one more scary looking cave. Uh, which has unfortunately been broken into by wolves. Well. Thanks for the bullets. <laughs> thanks for the... Thanks for the lantern fuel too, I'll take that. And some coal. Take two. I know you can't see chat, but I can. And that should scare you more than anything in this world. Okay, I'll, I'll take out the lantern, fine. I was like, I was, I was waiting around to listen to see if I could hear a wolf. Do you have like 20 flares? I'm saving those for wolf packs. Because if I shoot my gun more than two times and the wolves get like wily, they will absolutely rip me to fucking shreds if I need to reload. Flare flares are really good against wolves. Uh they don't like the fire. 
So, um, I'm gonna, it, honestly, if I run into a wolf pack on the way, I'm gonna distress pistol. I'm gonna shoot the flares at it first. Because I only need one to finish the job. No, nothing required here. And I believe I have plenty of firewood or stuff to light fires with now. Although I do need to light a fire soon to cook the rest of that coffee. Speaking of... Hopefully this is the right way out. I heard steps. Footsteps. Scary sounding steps. Chat, there's something in the cave with us. Chat. There's something in the room. Ooh, bullet. This must be the way out. All right, Jet. The next couple zones are long, but unfor but fortunately they aren't hard. They're all relatively straight lines. Whoever's water this is, it's mine now. Wow, they've been loading me up on ammo. Almost feels like they're trying to warn me. Okay, let me fill this. While it's lit, that's safe. Almost like they're trying to warn me about something. You know what I mean? Yep. If this says coastal highway, we go back inside, make a fire, cook all of our coffee. It's time. Time. I'm sorry. Cannot start campfire indoor. Shut the fuck up. It's a giant cave, asshole. You can light it in caves. What are you talking about? Okay, there's a weird, there's a weird, uh, some weird technicality going on. It's a mine, which is a cave. Methane gas leak. <laughs> Shut up! No one cares about your methane gas leak, you loser! Look at you, now you're making me angry. You're making me lash out. Is that what you wanted? Wanted to make me furious? Well, you did. You made me furious. It's time. I am going to cook a dangerous amount of coffee over the next hour. My character won't be sleeping today. He may never sleep again. Just pass time until all of it's done. Take it. Cook another. What, you think you're done? No, 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 cook another. Pass time until it's done. Take it. You're not done yet though, are you? Cook another. Cook it. Cook another cup of coffee. Good. Take it. Stop. Stop. Cook another cup of coffee. Pass time until it's done. Take it. Stop. Cook another cup of coffee. This should be the last cup. Pass time. Drink this one raw. All right, chat. I'm channeling the my inner me. Tomato gaming. And that means now I'm going to drink five cups of coffee and pretend everything's normal as I careen towards my destination for the day, which is the end of the level. It's time. Ow, fucking Christ, I just broke my goddamn leg! So this is how it ends. <laughs> so this is how my story ends. Legs shattered. Bones sticking out of my shins because I fell... What? A half a foot?
howls and distance. I'm not afraid of the wolves, chat. I've got, I've got some wolf repellent. I'm waiting for, dude, I want these devs to add an avalanche mechanic, dude. Fucking really ruin my life. Really end my life for this bit. Waste? Yeah, let me, uh, let me, let me check how many more bullets I got. 30, what, what is that, over 40 total? <laughs> the only thing you should be worried about is the condition of the gun. Which is, uh, 50%. So very good, because I got it at, like, 60. Yeah, I've got over 40 bullets. I'm unconcerned about my bullet count. Matter of fact, me shooting the gun will probably scare away wolves that may consider approaching me. I'm pretty good, I think. I've actually learned, I, I, I've actually gotten comfortable enough with it that I'm pretty comfortable shooting my gun at a wolf, even if it hasn't like gotten close enough to really make a shot, specifically because I know it scares the AI. We're gonna keep following this path until I reach a turn, because I know the exit that I want to go to is this way. I actually know this map to an extent because it's where we uh, played my ill-fated single session of the actual survival attempt like a year ago. So I know where I am. How can freezing to death be so comfy? I'm actually, dude, chat, the gods smiled upon me with this challenge as far as like weather is concerned during the last like half of this since we got the flare gun. We've got two and a half days still and the weather is beautiful and we've got fucking six cups of coffee. Or I guess four cups of coffee now. I was counting the two I got before. I just don't want to run because uh, I don't want to risk spraining my ankle and then actually losing because of something stupid. I think I can beat this by just walking the rest of the way. You mean you cheat coffee from what you cheated? Shut up, stupid. Sorry, I had to be so mean there, but you're the one that keeps coming at me. If I cheated, you'd know. All right, because you'd see cheat engine awkwardly open in the background. It'd make a ding, -ding sound as it locks onto the game. But you haven't heard that, have you? But yes, I can't deny I have been vac banned before. Yes, I have to admit, I have been literally vac banned in the past. We're gonna descend this and speed up this run. This is how I break my ankle, by the way. That's like a grim omen. That marker is like the haha. -ha, I see you fallen for the same trap I fell for, friend. We're not gonna go that way. We are gonna descend this hill because it loops around a really long loop. And... Which way is that bear going? Ah, oh, that's good. We can follow, we can go the opposite way then. Unless the bear was walking backwards. We'll go this way. Because that's actually what I want to do. We just have to hit the road. What is that box? Do I care? No. I have everything I need to win the whole game. I don't care about items anymore. Ah, fuck. I, I could go for, you know, I could actually go for another uh, cup of coffee. Ah. Let's roll. Woo. We should see the coast any minute now, chat. And once we do, by God, chat, we're almost there. By God. I'm not stopping in any of these houses. We don't need to. And I don't want to waste the coffee. We, actually, we will stop in this one for a second because it's a convenience store. 
and there may be an energy energy drink in there, which is better coffee. So we'll stop there for a second. Only a second. We'll look in the counters and the shelves and see if there's any fucking, like, energy drinks. I remember this place, too, because this is where I wanted to make my base camp when I was playing before, which, in hindsight, was very ill-advised, because the best base camp in the game is infinitely, almost always, in Pleasant Valley. It's in the middle of everything. Y'all got coffee? Y'all got coffee? Y'all got coffee? Oh, baby. <laughs> And there it is, chat. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. We win. We don't have to sleep again tonight. We just got a big fucking bottle of G fuel. Totally recorded. All right, tell me to do something that I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't do if it was recorded. Stupid. How would I even read your message unless you were fucking? Oh, I know what happened now. You look like you voted that I would survive. And you're a fucking bot. Because you already knew the answer. Which one of the numbers is survive and which ones die? Chat. Is it one? Is one survive? Because anyone that's a one is a bot. If that's true. One is survive, they're bots. Sorry. They're scripted. All right, chat. Good news is this next part I know the layout of because uh, we went this way for the uh, Darkstalker thing. Oh my God, look at all those wolves. Thank God they're not here. If we run into a wolf pack, I'm deeply concerned about our chances to survive. So let's just go really wide. And hope they don't see us. Where's my check? I need to get paid if I'm gonna say my lines. No, you don't. You just did. Without getting paid, stupid. Check your lines again. I knew you'd say that because it was predetermined. That was your line. It always was. Yo, let's talk about how good the weather is, because even though it's snowing, I guess my character's reached the threshold of warmth with his clothes that it doesn't matter anymore, and my character is actually totally stable. Uh, despite, uh, despite it fucking snowing. I heard a dog behind me. Now, the fact that I can't see the dogs makes me think that they doubled back towards me. That scares me, actually. Let's keep moving. Snowing tends to be warmer than clear skies in the winter. Not in long dark winter, in my experience. Long dark winter is like, if it's clear, and not windy, you're good. If it's snowing ever, you're sorta of bad. If it's snowing and windy, you're already dead. And if it's a blizzard, abandon all hope. That's like kind of the scale. But I've been able to just kind of walk it. Stuff like this makes me wonder how real civil human civilization settled snowy places. Well, they didn't constantly have to run 20,000 miles. Uh, unless they were hunter-gatherers. I guess during like... You know, the olden days, they'd probably do what I'm doing and light fires and hunt things and light fires and nomadic, nomad around or whatever. I don't know. I'm not one of them and I don't desire to be. I'm quite happy staying in my permanently located. I need another cup of coffee. How about you all just stop fucking making me panic because I'm getting through my coffee faster when you keep making me talk. You're tiring me out. Dude, actually, I feel like I'm gaining fatigue. Like, it says it's going down, but I swear I was at 50% before, wasn't I? Is it going up? It says it's going down, but I think it's going up. Like, super slowly. 
Oh, it's finally getting cold. The game's trying to stop me. This is the part in the script where the wolves come from behind that rock. Nuh-uh, because this is the part of the script where uh, I go to the next zone. Okay, this is the part of the script where a fucking blizzard comes in. This is really cool. <laughs> this is gonna suck. If, I don't know if there's anything in the next zone to rest with. We should turn back! We should turn back! We're so close, we should turn back! Abandon hope! Abandon hope, ye whom enter here! Oh! No, it's still kind of bad! But actually, we're in a ravine, so it's not that bad. Hang on! I have to order food! Actually, I'm gonna fucking actually just press escape! I need to order food! <laughs> I need to order food. It's 10. I have to order food now. It's actually too late to order food because it's 10. This is your fucking fault. And I'm shaking. They were supposed to still be open. But you... You just, I just had to stick around to stream, dude. And now I'm gonna starve. The sinful bell, I just had Wendy's. I, I mustn't do the bell. Good news is, this zone's very short. The bad news is, last I remember, it has literally no places to hide in it at all. Isn't that fun? It's kind of a shithole. I would describe this zone as the greatest... Oh, the blizzard stopped. Kind of. This place is kind of an absolute shithole, this zone. Uh, there's wolves, there's bears, there's goblins. There actually is an uncanny stench about this entire area. I remember last time I played, I tried to take the water path, and it resulted in my infinite demise. and Like, incredible demise. Hang on, I'm gonna load up the rifle. That's more bullets than I have. Wait, no, that's exactly the many bullets as I have. Yeah, I load up the rifle. All right, Jet. Just keep your eyes peeled for bears. And animals of any kind. We're not stopping for anything. We are leaving. We have two days, eight hours, and 49 minutes. That's otherwise known as not enough time in my book. We keep moving. It's a small area. But I know it's the way we have to go. And somewhere on this side of the map, there's an exit. Goodness, is these rabbits mean there might be less wolves coming after? Is that a bear? No, that's a... Oh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for a cave where a bear might be. Fuck! Alright, if there's a bear in here, I'm gonna have to shoot it, because I think I'm too close to get away. That might be my exit, though. You know, it, that exit's feeling awfully appealing right now, if it was. We need to abandon hope! We should go back! We should go back! Chat! Chat! The wind! The fucking wind! Wait, what? Could it be? A mine? How do I get up? I can't climb this. My character can't climb. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I think I saw the exit. But I can't climb. I can't climb. Help me, someone, please. This is truly the darkest time. Oh, we did it. I'm gonna break my legs on this rock. Watch, watch. Ow, ow, fuck, ow, owie. I needed a rope. I'm in. Leave Crumbling Highway. Yeah. 
now I know there's no wolves in this hole. Because you have to have thumbs to open that door. I need more coffee. You know what, though? What I need even more than coffee? I need an energy drink. Let's roll. Yo, Chad, there are a lot of people that said they didn't believe I could do it. They said, Tomato Gaming, you are a hack fraud. They literally said that to me. They said that to my face. They'd stop me on the street and say, Tomato Gaming, you are an idiot. You're stupid. And I'd sit there and I'd be like, no, I'm not. You are. And then they'd punch me in the nose. They'd punch me right in my fucking nose. And I'd start screaming. I wouldn't cry because it wasn't so much sad as it wasn't... This is... Uh, oh, I thought it was spoiled. Just opened. Eat these two opened, banged up cans of beans. We need to, we need to replenish our, our, our power. They'd punch me in the nose. I'd go, ah! Because it would hurt really bad. But it made me strong. Really strong. And the doubters, all of them, all five, like, billion of them, like, all, every single one, every single person on the planet, because, uh, every single one, they look really dumb right now. I'm gonna desolation point. All right, we're here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a rain check on doing desolation point when it's uh, a fucking blizzard. So uh, wait, no, but I'm super. Mm, mm, gosh, I don't know. Uh, cause it's uh, I I just drank this energy drink. I just drank the energy drink. <laughs> I just drank the energy drink, my guy. <laughs> It's not even that cold. Look, Chad, I feel fine. I feel genuinely fine. It's barely even chilly. That's a fucking cliff to hell. I, I've had colder summer, summer days. All right. I don't want to be in caves anymore. We just got to make it to the coast. We just got, okay, now it's getting pretty fucking cold now. Okay, now it's getting pretty bad. This was uh, really stupid. This was like, uh, this was like a fucking grade A stupid idiot play. I could wait it out in this car. You guys, you guys think there's an energy drink in here? <laughs> I think it might be smartest to wait. Is it fucking safe to have a lit flare inside of a car? I don't know. I am still cold, but uh, visibility has not improved. Son of a bitch. We gotta keep moving. This is a road. If this takes me to the beach, I might, I'll have an idea of where I am. Oh, this is good. All right, I'm gonna kill anything that moves in this place and I'm gonna hide in here. Fences means houses. There's no house there. Y'all think this is how I die? Freezing to death in a storm? After all this hubris in its most potent of forms, you know what I need in a time like this? Coffee. I have two emergency stim packs. Don't ever forget that, chat. We just have to find where the coast is and then we can follow it to the fucking lighthouse, even if we can't fucking see. Which means I think the coast is that way. I 
Ross have no idea where I am. My fingers feel numb. Shut up. You're being a drama queen. It's not even that fucking cold. It's not even cold. This is stupid. What I'm doing right now, the way I'm going, what I'm doing is very dumb, but I think that might be a river down there. People don't just make bridges without leading them to things. They don't. Is that a- <gasps> I've never felt so cold in my life. Some people, they don't got what it takes to survive out here. They just don't. That should help warm things up. They, they just keep on clinging to life, but they don't survive. They just cling. Oh, don't get a fucking head about it. Shut up! I pushed that guy outside. I locked the door. Anyone else want to fucking, like, talk big shit? I didn't see you fucking playing and winning the challenge. He's locked out. He doesn't get to escape. Everyone say it right now. I am the ultimate gamer. Say it now, or... All right, say it now! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm gonna rest here until it's nighttime, and hopefully the sun has set and the moon has risen, and maybe the fucking blizzard goes away. Because, uh, frankly, I wouldn't mind being able to see the distance when I do this. So I'm gonna sleep for five hours. I wouldn't mind being able to see the vista. I feel like I earned it. It's time. The storm's over. Where the fuck is my lantern? <laughs> Use. Oh, well, I like my bedroom more. Just in case. In case there's like a goblin. At the top. Been a hell of a journey, Lantern, but I don't need you anymore. <sighs> wow, it seemed a lot worse out here when we were walking in the blizzard. I was not expecting it to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm in a fucking incredibly steep mountain. Like, I'm in a fucking enormous mountain. I'm going to fall and die to my death a miles from civilization. And like, really, it was like a quarter mile from the street and like two dinky ass bridges. And like, we were right there. That's like the exit. End of the line, you son of a bitch. Bada bing is steed. Bada bing. Hopeless rescue. Four days, 23 hours, 28 minutes. I could have done it faster. No, I couldn't have. 
Actually, the only thing I, the only couple things I think I did poorly, and it was uh, the mountain. That was a bit of a dud ending. What do you guys think, dude? Bro, he didn't, he didn't get, there was a fully animated helicopter in this optional challenge. There wasn't like a fucking, like what more did you fucking want? You didn't, you didn't get a fucking round of applause from the game. The audio didn't do an applause. Dude, I fucking did it. That was fun. Do the evil night walker. I don't think, dude, I think that one's like fucking actually uh, really hard. Nightwalker's super hard. That's a harder version of the bear. That was fucking fun though. I'm glad I did it. That was like on my that's been on my bucket list for a while doing that one. But to my knowledge, Escape the Dark Walker is a long challenge and very hard. Like night that one's hard. As the Dead Sleep is also really hard. I don't think I could do As the Dead Sleep. That one requires like actual mapping. I'd be willing to do Whiteout eventually. That one's like a, that's actually probably how I would do uh, a survival, like a long form survival thing is do Whiteout for it. I think Whiteout is fun. If I was gonna do one, it'd be Whiteout. If I was gonna do another, cause Whiteout's really interesting. Cause I don't really like the long darks base survival. Like, so live as long as you can. There's no end goal. That's why I like the concept of them adding a story and stuff. I like it when my survival games have a genuine end point when I play them. You know what I mean? So, uh, the long darks normal survival has never really appealed to me. Cause it's like one of those ones where it's like, oh, live until you die. And either you have infinite food and water and it's boring or you reach the end. But if there's no ending, you're always going to die. That's the end. So I really like the idea of all these challenges. I know the devs are planning on adding mod support. That came out like a fucking like devlog that just came out a couple days ago. So maybe they will add mod. Maybe there will be like support to add new challenges and stuff. Because that's the more interesting stuff in Long Dark to me. It's like the more like emergent concepts. Like that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Long Dark... Escape from Shithole Island challenge. I hope everyone had fun. Give me a VR mod. I know there's a multiplayer mod coming up, but it's a little crusty right now. I saw it. Uh, it looked a little crusty still. Sleepy Coffee, thanks for the five gifted subs. That happened while I was going insane. Soul James, thanks for the 300 bits. Thanks for the long nap. Tamto, very weird dreams. Yeah, you're welcome. No problem. No problem. Thanks to everyone else that gifted subs that I already read. Falcomus, thanks for the 10. Gifted as well. Thank you, Falcomus. Everyone else at the beginning that I already read as well. Devil Summoner, five, uh, five gifted subs on top of it. Thanks. All right, chat. Wow, I've been doing a lot of longer streams lately. I might be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to label it as I am. There's a chance I won't, though. It just depends on how I'm feeling. I've got a lot of stuff I got to take care of. I've been a busy bee. A busy bee. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Good bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Halo campaign releases. Yeah, I'd play that if I was a fucking idiot. <laughs>